Welcome back to the Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone, part 4 I'm pretty sure on now guys, so we are back. Or I guess the uh, the Witcher 3 part 51. It has been a while guys, like, we, we've been doing this series for a long time, but we're carrying on today. So, first things first guys, what do I want to do today in today's part? I have some plans. So, I want to do Open Sesame, which is the, um, I guess technically like the second wish, although it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean, it's the second wish I'm gonna fulfill, I gotta, I gotta do that. I've also gotta turn in this quest, cause I kinda forgot to do that. I also wanna do these side quests, I have a contract, I got some treasure hunts, I got plenty of stuff, you know, I got lots of stuff to do. No, so, first things first, I'm gonna go turn in the other quest, cause I kinda forgot to do that last time, and um, yeah, well, I guess we're dealing with that now. It's fine, it's fine, my, my guild mark is not dangerous, you know, it's fine. Okay, you. I think it's this person, right? Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Um, Order of the Flaming Rose here to collect my coin. I mean, I don't mind telling her. It, it doesn't really matter. Bastards, brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Amazing. So we got the gold, guys. So how much have we got? Ooh. Okay, that, that's, that's, um, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's, it's not like loads of money, but it's fine. Um, okay, right, next thing I want to do. Right, I know you guys, I know what you guys are going to say. I do need to do clear up some markers. I've marked the one I want to do first, but I'm not going to do that straight away. I'm going to begin by doing the, uh, the Avid Collector quest, because I want to go and sell this painting. I, I always like to start with quests. I don't like to necessarily start by doing the markers. I know I have to get them done. However, as we, um, I guess we sort of discussed last time, there isn't really many left. We have, uh, one there. That's a grindstone, right? Yeah, one there, one there. Um, one there. There, there there and obviously that one up there but that's it and considering how many we've done oh yeah people were asking about i should just do this and then clear everything or like only show the ones i i need to do or something by like clicking this button but um i don't i don't really mind i kind of like them all there it's a bit messy but it it's sort of like i feel like you look at that map and you're like oh god you played a lot of this um you've done a lot you know it's like a reminder every time Oh, and actually, uh, speaking of reminders, I was wondering um, whether or not... God, my voice is like... <laughs> I need to, like, have a drink or something. Um, my, uh, sorry, I was wondering if we should keep the professor's glasses on or not for the rest of the playthrough. Because obviously I don't want to keep the ass ears on. Because as much as I love them, it kind of ruins the mood of a lot of the more serious... Um, Cutscenes, but I feel like the professor's glasses don't really do that. I was thinking of keeping them on just for the uh, rest of Hearts of Stone, you know, wearing them as like my e everything in this DLC. At least a lot of it is a callback to the Witcher One, and it's kind of fun to wear like a Witcher One callback on our um, on our face, if you know what I mean. Um, so that could be quite fun. I like to hear what you guys think of that. If you think that's worth it, or you think it kind of not ruins stuff, but it, it looks a bit weird. But for the purpose of today's part, as we are kind of going into a um, let's let's call it. Um, you know, we're going to go and do a basically a heist. I mean, they discussed it last time. I don't need to hide it anymore from people that might not know. I feel like wearing a disguise like the professor, you know, he was technically like a hired assassin type thing in a way. It's kind of fitting, so I'll leave it on for today's part and I can take it off if we think it's just a bit, um, you know, a bit, a bit sort of um, too much. Although I think it might work for Hearts of Stone, you know? I think it's quite a cool looking thing. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to go sell this painting, and this is one of the things we bought in the auction. And we actually got a bird that I think we can break or something, or we can break it to see if it gives us anything good. Um, I'm trying to remember all the things I bought. I bought the glasses, I bought the painting, and I bought the bird. I can't remember if I bought anything else. I, I think that was it, because it was only three items, right? And then we got kicked out. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the place where we got the uh, Jacques Oldersburg letter. See, it's all linked. Order of the Flaming Rose, Jacques Oldersburg letter, it's coming back here. Okay, Marcus, I've got something for you. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but well, we've ones with drawings as well. Hmm, nice. Oh! <laughs> I've never played Gwent with this guy. Um, okay, we'll do the painting first and then we'll uh, play some Gwent, why not? Got a painting I'm looking to sell. Good for you, but why come and me about it? Cause it's a Van Roe, 
Heard you might. A vain row. I'll take it. Now, where's me purse? I haven't much just now. But I'll add a bit of loot. Another witch I left it as collateral. What was his name? Guillotine? That's so. Interesting. Thanks. Guyatan, that's how you say his name? Well, the more you know. Oh my god. You remember he was from the, um... Oh wow, that's like a trophy. He was from the, um, I got 500 crowns for that. That's more than I got for that, um, other mission. Wait, how, what did I get? Oh no, I didn't get that. I got a trophy, right? Like, a uh, something for Roach. Uh, I mean, I'd like to have a look at it, I suppose. But other than that, it's not particularly useful. Remember, um... God, the say his name. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. It's Gaiatan. Um, that's the guy from um, the Weather Cat Wolf play mission. You know, the little girl and the picture and stuff. Okay, well, we've got Without a Trace still, which is a mission we have to do at some point. We have Treasure Hunts, and we have the main mission. I'm not going to do the main mission straight away, but I will be doing that today. we got all that to come. I want to do some of these other little things first. So I think what I'm going to do first is... Should we do a contract? I feel like this might be fun. You know, we're, we're pretty much that level. We can do it, I think. I need to try and get this uh, Viper armor too, but I'll I'll wait until we're sort of the level. I think it's 39 from memory. Uh, at least because we looked last time, didn't we? Let's have a look. So the, uh, the armor that we want to make is the Viper armor, and it's around here somewhere. It is the... Let's have a look. There they are. So it is 39. So when we get to 39, we'll make that armor. We'll wear that. We'll have the glasses. We'll make the swords. We'll be proper um, hearts of stone dubbed. Up, <laughs> up. Okay, right. I want to do this contract. You know what? I feel like it could be related to that. Who knows? Um, we'll go do this. Because I feel like we have one contract left, and once we get this done, that's another thing done. And also, contracts can be fun, and it's a quest, and it, it just kind of means we don't have to, um, you know, spend too long on, like, various things. It's good. It's good. Okay. Claw marks, bite marks, armor ripped to shreds. I'm assuming I discussed a price for this a while ago. Human. No sign of another corpse. I think Errol looks kind of cool with the glasses. I, I don't know what you guys think. I kind of like it. I hear something. I think I already know what monster this is. In fact, I think we've already dealt with one of these in the uh, playthroughs. Like, literally, I think the last part. Mm -hmm. Flying monster. Gripped the second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest. I, th I think we did. Maybe not last part. Maybe like a few other parts. Piece by piece, follow the thread. Okay. A lot of wolves around here. Okay. Just concerned about these wolves. Okay. Oh god, what's happening? So what's, they're, they're level 8, what am, what am I doing? You know, I'm just gonna take some hits. I'm just- I, I- I- they're not really doing much damage, I don't need to worry, it's fine. Okay. Dealt with the wolves. Um... Ah. Okay, I don't see anything of particular interest at the moment. Crows and Tracks wolves. Tracks end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean. But they've already found the rest of the corpse, probably. All I gotta do is follow the cawing. Okay. Let's follow this cawing, then. Um... Oh, you literally just followed- okay. <laughs> I was like, I can hear it, but I- I, I can't see it. Alright, okay. They're up there. Ooh, a big old nest looking thing. And the nest? Empty. Except for leftovers. Um, okay. Mercenary contract. Dear Master Hands of Sidaris, I've decided to accept your condition that the fee for the beast's demise be paid in advance. Uh, the reward you demand, however, six full purses of crowns, continues to seem quite excessive to me. The three I have included with this missive should be more than suffice um, for you and your crew. 
Note that I expect a quick and final solution to this monster problem. Should you determine should you determine that you are not up to the task, I expect you to return every last copper of it of the advance I enclose under penalty of flogging and imprisonment, and to immediately leave the area. On behalf of the city of Council on behalf of the City Council of Oxenfurt, Claus van Tronk 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 Trontke. Okay. Well, well. They took on this contract before I did. Got the reward up front. More than they're paying me. Hmm. I don't even remember taking this, to be honest. Ten rakeides. Sparse after feathers. Interesting. An arch griffin. Ah, there you go. I think we did fire griffin, right? Relatively recently. Oh, I, th I swear we did. Okay. God, the, the, those birds are intense. Oh, return after dark. Okay. Um, do I want to get the oil ready now? Or I think resting gets rid of oil, so maybe it's not even worth doing that. It's, hi it's a hybrid, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Something like that. It's, um, let's have a look. I made a bunch of oils, so. Beast? It's not a beast. It's a hybrid, I swear. It's Ah, oh, there you go. Although we only have enhanced, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, God! Breathe acid? I kind of forgot about this. Okay. I need to get more hits and I don't want to do it. Oh. Okay. I'm remembering the strategies, guys. I'm remembering how to be a witcher. It's been a while. Quen and Igni. <laughs> Did I poison him or something? He's just taking like continuous damage. Come back here. Oh god, shoot him down. Okay. Pretty easy. Um Oh, zero L armor. That's cool. I mean, that, that, that felt very, very easy. I'm curious what this armor looks like, actually. Oh, interesting. It looks... I'm, that is, I'm assuming it's... It doesn't have the, the flag on, from what I can see, but I'm assuming it's like a Cintron style sort of armor, right? I mean, the colors seem sort of Cintron. You know, that, like the sort of light blue. Okay. Oh, yeah, the glass... Every, like, piece of armor, like, readjusts. You see the glasses? Okay, right. I'm gonna head back, turn in this quest, I guess. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go and do it, and I'll ju just show you guys when I'm there, I suppose. It'll probably be easier, right? Okay, guys, I'm pulling you out right now. I was just on my way back, and I realized I was, like, right next to Faster. a marker. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna quickly get this one done. Um, I think this is actually quite a cool marker, now I think about it. I think this is relatively hard. Yeah, there you go. Although I am, um, kind of over-leveled for it now. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna straight up do it. Come here, you leshen. God damn it. Okay. There he is. Ooh. Oof. Oh god, I don't. I don't like the uh, the birds. Where is he? Ah. God, he's on fire, and he's just, like, fine with it. Right. Yay. Good job, Roach. You, um, you helped. Right, okay. We got him. Now, let's get this loot. See, guys? And that's a marker done. That's why you do it. You get the markers done. It's easy. I think there might be... I could be wrong. I think there might be another chest around here. Um... Maybe not, though. Well, I'll look. 
Okay, yeah, I don't think there is. Okay, right, I'm gonna head and turn in this, um, this quest now. That's another marker done, amazing. Let's go and turn in this quest. Oh, it was this, these people, they're like the mercenaries that got paid. I, I remember, I remember this. Oh, uh, this was ages ago. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at here. Bronze with just a lick of gold on it. it means the Redanian coffers are near empty. Well, any progress? Um, got rid of the griffin. Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch grateful. Your reward. Not so fast, not about to be swindled. That is true. He didn't give us the uh, the full the full amount. Hold up a minute. Recognize this? You accepted a contract. Reward paid up front, and higher than what you paid me. What am I meant to do? Business is what it is, and intermediaries deserve their due. What you're due is a punch in the face. Gold. Now. Some advice before you go. Don't ever try to cheat a witcher again. Ever. was late with our pie week. Oh nice. Damn. That's that's I've just got like a thousand plus gold in like the first ten minutes of the part. This is good guys. Things are going well. Okay. Right. You see that guys? Two other quests we even have. You know what? I wanna go do that quest. I'm actually curious what it is. I've kind of forgotten and turns out it's very, very close. And I think this is the area where all the markers are, so I should, um, well, you know, I should try and clear these up as I go. I was just, I sort of was debating them, but, um, it's actually really, really close. Okay. I can literally run there now. I can run there live. You, I don't even have to skip or anything. That's how close we are. I'm wondering if this herbalist will reveal any, um, secrets to us. There's, like, a group of people over there? I don't think I want to deal with them. They're not a marker, so it's, it's not very important, but they're just bandits, I think. Okay, um... I thought I should let you know there's like a group of bandits directly next to you. Oh! That opened the door, you must. Fail to, and we'll torch your hot right for her. So help us God, the fire eternal. No, oh, Paul. Not a um, Oh. Day. Okay, they're just going to immediately attack me. Hmm. So, I'm going to try hard here, you know what? Go on, set on fire. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. I'm trying to use art a bit more. I feel like people have been people have been hammering on at me that I should be using it more. I'm trying to incorporate it more. Although I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's it's okay, I just don't set people on fire. You know what I mean? Gotta tell you, I've been I've been playing a different game recently, and I'm 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 really getting confused about how combat works in games. I, I won't I I will admit it. <laughs> I'm like I'm I'm doing tactics from other games in this, and it's it's confusing my normal igni plays. It's very confusing. I will get back into it. I'm doing all right, I think. This is a bit of a weird setup as it is. I feel. Right, you know what? You know what I think it's time for. You know. I love that one. Drop your shield, asshole. Ow. Oh, God, that was not good. That was not good. Okay, hang on, hang on. What the? Oh, my God, look at my health. Um, hang on. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we got him. We got him. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. We dealt with Busy them. Spot. Lots to do. For sure, Geralt. For sure. There's also plenty of herbs for us to take. Beautiful herbs. You know, and I refuse to accept the fact we can just get them anywhere. You know, if, if my reward for doing that is just to loot his herbs, I'm going to take it in advance, you know? Right, hopefully he doesn't look in his garden in the time we're talking to him. We'll tell him it was them. They took all the herbs and ran away. 
Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Huh. That was rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? I do not. Oh, this is the dude from the, um... Oh. This is... I actually need to come here for the uh, the main quest. Yeah, I'm why not? Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea, find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. I've uh, been there, done that. Oh, I didn't play Gwent with the uh, the dude in the library, did I? Okay, I'll have to go and do that. I'm going to do that with this guy before I forget, actually. Um, yeah, I'll go back Learning and do that. To play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. I absolutely love the glasses. I think they really fit with Hearts of Stone. In a weird way, though, you know what I mean? I, I really want to put Gaunter in. I'm very tempted. Why is he a Nilf Guardian card, or is that just because... Oh, it's he's just like a neutral card, I guess. Okay. There are certain decks I would really like to try and sort of use a bit more. <laughs> the problem with monsters is they... <laughs> let's just say they literally don't have spies, uh, so they're not particularly good. Spies are like the main thing in this game. Um, I could try and make a monster deck. I apparently have every card, so it, it could work, but... Ah, uh, maybe I'll do that, like, um, down the line. I'm not gonna do it now. Okay, should I just go Nilfgaard and win? I guess, I guess. You know what? We'll just, we'll just win. Okay, so... Um, I don't really want the Scorch, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of that. Okay. Don't really have many spies on me. I got one. But, you know, from one there can come many. Or none. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I win draws automatically. Yeah. It's like a weird Nilfgaard ability. I think Scoia'tael always go first. There's there's like a bunch of stuff in the uh, the original Gwen, I suppose. Um. Okay. I might just plop down a 15, and then I'll be fine, right? I can maybe just skip and make him play everything. I could even just immediately kill them. What? What is it? What is this like? They have to be over 10. It has to be 10 or more, so I can't use that. I'm just going to keep trying to get high um, scores, I think. Perfect. I can kill... Oh, no, I can't kill him, apparently. Whatever. Okay. I mean, I can revive the 10 next round if necessary. Oof. I mean, I could really just win this round, to be honest, like, depending on what he does. I mean, honestly, I feel like I should just keep playing at this point. <laughs> I can revive a 10 next round if necessary, and he's not going to be able to draw anything, so... Oh, I've got this. I've, re I've got this. I hope he doesn't remember this when we do our heist. He, I, I don't want him to hold this against me. Um, cool. Oh, he didn't even say anything. Okay, I'm here about your notice. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. 
I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. Um... Gonna be honest, guys, don't really believe him. I don't know why. He just seems very... But, I'll, you know, I'll look for him. I'll do it. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I believe him completely now. I mean, that description was perfect. I think I just need that alcohol, right? Then I can make hey the rest there. of the oils. Let me have... I wonder what he sells. Does he sell the alcohol, perhaps? Okay, should I be saying that? That might be misinterpreted. Yeah, he doesn't have anything useful. Cool. Um, I will not be initiating so the main quest yet. I will come back here and do that later down the line. Uh, Master Herbalist, he has like nothing on him. I'm taking all your herbs. They're mine now. I need them for oiling. Um, I gotta go and find this like apprentice who sounds real to me. Just getting all his stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess I probably have a marker around there somewhere. I might do a marker first. That might be nice, just to kind of um, interlay them a bit. Um, where is it? It's right up there. I gotta go. So you know what? I'm gonna ride there, and I'm gonna ride there, 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 and then there, and then I only ha only have um. Uh, that's not ten. Oh no, one, two. I only have three after that. See? That's what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride up there now, and I'm going to go to the, uh, the those markers, and I will do what I did Let's last go. time, basically just skip through them for you guys and, like, show you just bits of them, Slow and then I'll um, carry Whoa. on with the actual quest. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, guys, I'm pretty much there. I'm, like, 80 meters away. I'm going to get there. I'm going to deal with these guys. I'm going to assume it's some Fallen Knights again, as it is a bandit camp, but it might be a low-level bandit camp, which would be a treat. Nope, uh, not in that. Look at that lovely view of Novigrad while I- Ooh, Don't do that. God, that did a lot of damage, you know. Aha! Reconnaissance Commander's Notes. Pitched camp in the ruins of the Observation Towers is M ordered. Hope we won't have to sit here long. Margin note. Important! Bren lost 200 crowns to me at Gwent, but has no coin on him. He needs to take out of his next share of the loot. Boring as fuck. Been sitting here eight days now, and naught's happened. Besides that one grain caravan, which we raided, sending the merchants off running it in their unspeakables? Oh, okay, nice. Uh, hope to high heavens, they'll transfer us somewhere more interesting quick, because here every man, jack of us, is near about off his nut with boredom. Well... Glad they're done. Um, yeah, turns out art is actually good. Nice, that's some cool stuff. Okay, on to the next marker, guys. I'm going to get these done. Then we're going to be done with the markers, no more. You never have to worry about it again. I'll be like, oh, God, is he going to do ten markers this episode? No, I won't, because they'll be done. But then, of course, guys, we have blood and wine. <laughs> I'm going to get there relatively soon, I think, which is going to be nice to get onto the um, final sort of whole thing of the game, I suppose, which is kind of crazy. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to skip to the next marker, unless I do. Um, we'll see. I just saw a monster. Let's go hunting. Roach, run away. There's like a, a glowing thing over there. I don't know what that even is. Oh, is this like the portal place from before, perhaps? I still have hybrid oil on my sword, I just realized. I can't be back in. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting better. I'm just saying. Okay. Geralt, home in. That, 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 he is very high up. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill that guy. This isn't even the marker. What, what is this? I've sort of forgotten what the teleporting symbol means again. 
I think I have been here before, maybe. Is this where Aramaeus' thing was near? I don't even know. Right, well, I'm here now. Oh, there's a lot of things. I'm assuming ghouls or neckers or something. Oh, no. Harpies? God, it's been a while since I've had to kill harp- like, a long time. Obviously sirens, but like classic harpies. It's been a very long time, it feels. God, I, have I even like four actual harpies in this game? I honestly can't remember. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe like a couple times. No, odd might be the best tactic, please. Oh my god, I, I don't know. I don't know. These these aren't easy. Okay, there's a lot of them. This is bringing back some uh, Witcher 2 memories, I'm going to be honest. I guess in uh, Skelligar I must have, but it was mainly Sirens, I, I seem to remember. What, whatever the case, it has been a long time. Okay, hit them with fire! Uh, I was about to do it. I'm about to finish him. Uh, God, the, these these guys are not great. I feel like Quen um, alternate mode would be really really good for these. The problem is my silver sword is not really good anymore. But it's fine. It's just not. It's not quite over-leveling them, I guess, as normal, so I don't do as much damage. Hmm. Finally! I got one. Yeah, I don't think I've fought Harpies in a long time. Oh, is it, was my sword broken that whole time? I just realized. It felt like it wasn't doing as much damage, so I was like, ah, this is clearly broken. Um, let's have a look. Should I just use this? Oh, whoops. Um, what is this I got? It's a steel sword. It's actually pretty good. That sword, this Ophiri thing I got is actually really, really, really good. I mean, my silver sword's fine. It's just not, like, amazing. I want to explore this place a bit. Oh. Looking to purchase eggs. We'll buy harpy eggs for top coin important. Please do not wash the eggs. Nicholas Vogel, Vic Watchtower. Okay. I'm guessing he got a bunch of eggs and... What's that? Oh, the folktale's back. Okay. I don't know what he is doing. He's just having fun. Folktale just want to have fun. Okay. Get back here, coward! Okay, give me that loot. I feel like I'm doing worse today. I'm trying my um, hardest to incorporate art, and it's 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 messing with the the uh, the mold I've made. <laughs> I I want to do more things, you know. I feel like I'm like very one track in this game. I'm like, okay, Quen, Igni, Fire. I've won. Oh, and a handbook and some chess and stuff. Okay. Nicholas Vogel's laboratory handbook. Or notebook, even. Laboratory. Fragment of Nicholas Vogel's laboratory notebook. I've acquired the eggs. They cost a fortune and left me with barely enough funds to pay the rent for my laboratory. But now I begin my work in earnest. I'll soon show those pea-brained admirals of ours that airborne armies are the future of warfare. And the first such army shall be my creation. I shall proudly bear the name of the Rutanian Air Force. They've hatched. Never seen harpies so tiny and, dare I say, cute. They have no bosoms yet, but do have enormous heads and equally enormous appetites. Bird-like through and through. My first attempts at taming them have brought promising results. The young harpies eat out of our hands and sometimes eat our hands as well. Ugh. My assistant's already lost two fingers. The alderman of Hedel, or Hedel, came skittering into our tower, desperately brawling about spiders plaguing in his village, uh, begging for our help, weeping for their picked-upon livestock and offspring, who suffer the most from the arachnoid's bites. Hmm. One swarm of mindless-eating machines preying on another. How dare he interrupt my work on the 
Wonder Waffle for such banalities. Instead of the arach arachnicide he requested, I gave him a bottle of arachnomorph pheromones. Won't he be in for a surprise? But do the peasants not say spiders and snakes um, a happy home make? I'm sure I've heard them say something of the sort. Our fun's nearly exhausted. I should be forced to take something from the rainy day stash I hid from Huber in the top floor of the tower. The bulk of our outflow goes towards the pur purchase of pork, which the harpies devour in gargantuan quantities. Perhaps if we were to dress up one in Redanian armor, now and presented at court, the king himself would become our patron. No, no, no. The entire squadron must be present, else Radovid will deem the whole undertaking a farce. It seems our harpies have grown tired of pork. I found the scraps of Hubert's overalls in one of their cages. No great loss. Hubert had already lost eight fingers feeding them. Couldn't even grip a broom. Catastrophe has struck. Someone opened all the cages and let out the harpies. I'm sure I'll find them wheezing their last in the grass outside the tower. After all, no one has fed them for a week. Christ. I, r I found some pheromone things, didn't I? In one of the villages. That I had to, like, kill stuff in. I, I can't... I, th that I wonder if that was the same village. It, pretty pretty likely it was a um it was a like a, a higher level village i'm pretty sure well interesting let's have a look let's try and get this stuff i'm just gonna head down Shit. here why why because this place is all burnt and horrible oh there's a lot of bodies i just realized oh 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 my god look how many oh that is that is great i didn't even realize what this was why is there so many bodies here what happened? Oh, there's so many. Yeah, harpies are the worst. Bad idea. Out of all the flying monsters, probably one of the worst you could have picked. Although they are kind of humanoid, so I, I suppose I see the logic. I'm just taking all this alcohol. Um, okay. Yeah, what I'll try and do after this is I'll go and buy as much of the uh, the other alcohol like, as I can get to make the uh, white gull. Look, I get it. Okay. You know what? I can't loot that. And also, I think it's just books, and I have so many books. Okay. Right, we got everything in this room. Let's keep going up. we got to get all the loot, of course. As is tradition. I see nothing here. Although, I can get further up. Okay. It said it was at the top of the tower, right? Like a rainy day fund of some kind. I'm gonna check down there after. Just check everywhere. You never know. A hidden chest could be anything. Um. Although I don't think I've. I don't think there is a hidden chest. Okay. Lots of climbing involved. I like it. So apparently there is a chest somewhere up here. Search the laboratory ruins. It said there was a rainy day fund at the top of the... Oh, I see. There is another section. Lots of harpy nests. How long has this place been in ruins, then? I'm assuming not long. I, could, I still found that guy's body. Aha! I got another... I got new moon trousers already. I, I think I honestly have a full set of it. I, I'm not even kidding. I think I have a full set of new moon armor already. It's just spread around my various um, things. Let's have a look down here. It just brings me back down. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that marker. That's another marker dealt with. Where's the next one? Um, up here. Right. I'm just going to get straight into it, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get these markers done, and we don't have to think about them. And then I might be able to get to level 39, then wear the Viper armor before the DLC ends, which should be wonderful. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get to that level, guys. It's hard. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's carry on. Okay, guys, I'm pretty much there. It was actually much closer than I realized. Of course, it's filled with fallen knights, as is tradition. Um, okay. As I promised, guys, I'm trying to use Ardmore. See? Look. Boom. And again. He gets up very quickly. Maybe I should just, just finish him off. Amazing. Listen, book thought it was good for Oh. Awesome. Well, I saved him. I'm hoping I can play Gwent with him. I do require more Gwent games. I will have to go back to the uh, book person as well. The library. Ah, the librarian, yes. The book person. 
because I kind of forgot about um, the fact I need to play Gwent with him. Okay. Well, I don't need to, but I, you know, I want to. Okay. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. All the, all the herbs. Just, if there's like a massive pile like this and I can just spam A, get them all, I feel like that's something that's useful, you know? You never know which of these herbs might come up later down the line. I'm like, oh, I wish I, I wish I got that, but I got it now. Okay, you. Hello, are you going to give me anything? You just kind of, you just reading a book. He, he feels better, like immediately. I'm taking everything in your house, man. Look, I, I, I do, uh, even the books I already have, I'll take them all. I feel like I sort of deserve it. You know, I did save him. I'm taking my payment in the form of what he has at home but did not expect. I want that book too, man. You're gonna have to hand it over. Doing all right now? Thanks again. I'd have been minced me if it's not for you. Name's Philibert Topical, but everyone calls me Master T. What do you think you need? Shrooms? A bit of herb, perchance? Master T. Show me what you got. Um... Got nothing. Well, um, enjoy your hut. Right. I'm gonna wait till morning. I'm gonna restore my potions. And then I'm gonna, uh, head over to the next marker. Get it done. Let's go. I mean, I just realized, guys, I'm heading over and I'm pretty much there already. It's very, very close. All these markers are so close to each other. Oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. Go, go. Wyvern time. Another wyvern, huh? I'm assuming he's gonna be quite a high level. Dragon it nest. Need to destroy it. Okay. I should probably also kill him, right? I destroyed your nest. Can you come down, please? Fuck. Look, I'm just gonna loot everything while I'm waiting for this this dragon to work out that he wants to come and attack me. I could just rest and it'll probably spawn at me. That could be an option. Yeah, because at the moment, he's, he's just sitting there. Right, okay, hang on. Let's wait an hour. You... Aha! When in doubt, wait an hour. Okay, we got him. Well, that's another marker down, guys. So you can get these done quickly if you give it a go. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to do them, all of them, but this is like there... Honestly, I feel like I should just finish these off. Like, I got one there, one there, one there, then I'm done. I may as well just do them. I'm just gonna do them, guys. I'll just skip through them. It's fine. Like, we can get it done. Get this loot. Easy loot. Get some, um... Get some crowns. It'll be good. Okay, let's head to this next marker. Okay, guys, we're pretty much there. Um, I'm gonna hope... It might even be a lower-level bandit camp, because it's quite far in. Oh, it is. Nice. Pathetic. I don't even need to repair my sword. Just one hit in. Oof. I feel like I've done some racing here before. Like, that looks like a racetrack to me. I think I might have even rode past this. Okay. Some free loot. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get the rest of these done. Then I'll finish off the quest. And it's just quest after quest. I've done all the markers. This is going to be amazing. Okay. You know, guys, I'm just about to head to this next marker. And I realized that I don't know if anybody mentioned. I'm trying to remember if anyone mentioned about how, whether or not I should be using the runerite stuff now. Or I should wait until I get my, like, endgame swords. Because it's quite expensive. And I have to, like, make it all, or, well, or buy all the runes. And I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure. I had a few things about how I shouldn't be, um, not shouldn't be, but, like, carrying all my repair kits and stuff is just really heavy. But I honestly like having them on me, and it's not too big of a deal, really. I mean, as you can see, I'm pretty much done with the markers anyway, so it's sort of fine. Okay. Amazing. I did it, guys. I did it. Master Ulrich's orders to Antonio P P Perf fail or fail. Uh, clear the elven ruins of all valuable artifacts. Once that's done, put fire to that rubbish heap and burn to the ground. Regarding your question about the elven manuscripts you discovered, head over, hand over the diagram during the next change of patrols. Our armorsmith will set about deciphering it. M. Okay, I need to find this diagram. I'm assuming it's going to be in one of the chests, so that'll be good. We'll get that, and we'll uh, we'll be good. Uh, I'm just going to heal up. Amazing. So I have to find where this this thing is. I think it's just over here. Okay. A diagram for something called Sarim. Is that a sword or something? 
elegant letter to be delivered personally to the hands of the Honorable Knight Sir Antonio Fell. Uh, whatever. Our unusual partnership has brought me enormous pleasure. I trust, sir. Uh, I trust, sir. Knight finds himself in good health. I have cat. I have catalogued the last shipment of elven sculptures and sold the entire lot at once. As per our agreement, find attached the bill of accounts for our most recent transactions. Sculpture. Gian Lorenzo, the oh, mm -hmm. the the word I can't say um, of El El Elirena or Eliren. Oh wow. Um, buyer, Kurt Dysart, 300 Novigrad crowns, minus 35% transaction fee. Sculpture, Votticelli, for, okay, look, do I have to read this? I'm not going to read this. This is literally just, I'm going to skip all the names. You can read it if you want. It's fun. It's just, it's just a, it's just a receipt. I'm literally reading a receipt. Okay. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to finalize the sale of Pietas by Michael Angelak. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, to Brandon & Co, Inc. The company sued for a deferment of the sale due to some claimant financial difficulties. Uh, due to some claimant financial difficulties rumored around town. Rumors around town claim the firm's senior partner was robbed in broad daylight by some white head witch. <laughs> oh, it's those guys. Oh, Brandon. Oh, oh, I remember. Oh, that was hilarious. Okay, right. Uh, but for obvious reasons, I did not agree to prolong the payment period. A messenger with the earnings will present himself at the agreed-upon uh, the agreed upon spot. I impatiently await the next transport. Yaramir E. Carstairs. Oh, wow. See, this is why you read notes sometimes, guys. Like, for quests and stuff. They like to put in these little references to things you actually have done, which is always fun. Like, remember that golem? That was absolutely amazing. Like, finding a note... I'm gonna have a look around these ruins, actually, before I leave. Um, I like looking around the elven ruins. It's always fun. Um, but it's always fun to read these notes. At least that's what I feel. I feel like you get more of the game out of it, and, um, you know, it's like little references to things you, you have done in the game. Like, the golem one was amazing. Ah, see? He missed this Skelligan Gamberson. Like, imagine- what a fool. Imagine missing that. He also missed this incredibly obvious set with <laughs> more New Moon stuff, I think. I don't know why that makes me laugh, it's just it's because you, 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 I'm getting the set like before the quest where I get the set just by exploring. It's like the most use- it's, I'm laughing because it's some of the most useless loot, arguably. Um, because I, I literally get it, like it, it isn't- okay, whatever. I think there's a signboard down here and also some boars, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna head down there and- The boar hide actually gives me quite a bit of money, so I'm tempted just to kill them. Yeah, I'm actually- I'm gonna do it, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do it. I get quite a bit of money, apparently. Wow, that was a big roll, girl. Oh, he kicked me in the back? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm- am I getting worse at the game? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just, like, distracted. You know what? It's fine. I I'm doing well. Shut up. <laughs> I hear- I will hear nothing of how terrible I'm doing today. Um, I'm just checking. It is- I have got all of them right. I have. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, look how many there are. It's just, like, this mess of just, like, stuff. Yeah, I think I, I have, I have. I just gotta get one more, then that's all these markers done. I'm so surprised you can get like an achievement or something for this. I feel like they don't want to encourage anyone to have to do all of these, because there is so many. Um, right, we'll go to Brunwich. Final marker. We're gonna do it, guys. Okay, guys, we're approaching the final marker. This is gonna be incredible. I'm realizing that we pretty don't have that many parts left of Hearts of Stone. <laughs> Like, I, I, I've got through this pretty quickly. I think my, my strategy with just dealing with the markers incredibly quickly has been quite good. But also, it's just not that long, really. I swear to God I've done this one. Didn't I? Did I not do this? I, I, I definitely recorded a video here for some reason. Uh, I think it was um, my swords video, perhaps? I'm not sure. Okay. Th this tactic is unbelievably overpowered, by the way. For everyone suggesting this, you are you're a sneaky person. <laughs> I thought I'm kidding. I thought my tactic was overpowered. That, that it's just like you just get insta kills every time. Yeah, I think that's that's good to deal with the shield guys for sure. I'm happy with that. And then you just spam. Doesn't matter who needs fire when you got sword. Boom. Sword attack. Who need fire when got sword? 
Oh, Peter's log. Uh-huh. Okay. That makes three days we've been stationed here in Dead White Woods. It is a gravely important mission. That's what the commander told us. We only send the best of the best to Dead White Woods. Those were his words. I'm damn proud. Strange enough, these ain't, there ain't many trees around and not a corpse to be seen. Maybe the master's information was out of date and the peasants have felled the whole wood. Thomas says it's because we went the wrong way, but we can't read nor write, so I'm not about to trust him. Oh no, but he, I guess, not we. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm going out to scout around a bit myself after dinner today. I want to draw a map of these lands because the commanders didn't because the commander didn't give us one. When I get back to the main headquarters, I'll write up everything all nice and proper. Peter Neher. Oh, Peter Neher. I don't know. Look. I'm not an expert on languages, guys, and I, I can't be bothered to remember every pronunciation. <laughs> One day. <laughs> oh, no, I've run out of inventory room. This is a good excuse to just get rid of some of these, you know, basically worthless things. Although they are worth, like, 300 crowns, apparently. Like, what? Who's paying 300 crowns for that? Ever. I don't know. Right, okay. Regardless, guys, that's every marker done. Do you want to see this amazing map? Oh. Perfect. Perfectly balanced. Does all thing look at that. Just look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, nothing. Nothing left. This has been a task. You know, the one regret of my entire playthrough is this goddamn marker that I can't clear. Someone help me. <laughs> please make a mod that fixes this. Uh, help me, please. <laughs> oh god, I put so much time to sorting this out. Okay, right. Well, we did it, guys. I mean, we did it. Like, like we did. I'm gonna head to Hierarch Square. I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do my Gwent game before I do this, um, this mission. I mean, we've, um, we, we did it. That's, that's all I can say, really. We, uh, we got all the markers, guys. It's been a big task, but we did it. I feel like we've really got through the game. I mean, obviously we start Blood of Mine, which is a, uh, a whole thing in itself, but we're doing it. All we have left now is main quests and side quests and treasure hunts. I'm gonna do the treasure hunts and sec. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Look, we've been past plenty of kids singing that song. It's a, it's a thing we recognize now. It was it was fun the first couple times, and it still is fun. But, you know, I don't need to listen to it. Okay. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Maybe when we're in Blood and Wine, we might find a group of two song kids singing it in French or something. Um, That'd be really cool. I bet they've done that. That'd be such a cool idea. Okay, let's go play Gwent with this librarian. We've got to show him who's boss. You know, we're gonna come back to assert dominance. Middle of the night, we're gonna wake him up out of his bed. We're gonna say, hey, look, listen, you. It's time for some Gwent, isn't it? Hello. Ah, you're back. Yes, I would like to play Gwent. I will bet any amount of money. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Okay. I wish Gwent, like, gave you more money. Oh god, I got no spies. This is not the greatest hand, guys. In fact, I'd say it's an awful hand. I'm gonna start with a low card, and I'm gonna just wait to see what he does. In fact, I have so many reviving cards, I might just put down, like, my tens. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna fill up my middle row here. I'm gonna double their strength, and then I'm gonna skip because he's probably gonna um, gonna do that thing where he where he where he ruins my life. Okay, right. Oh Christ. Although maybe it'd be worth just skipping now. What do I get out of this? I basically get um, double right, which is not enough to really compete here. I'm gonna skip. Okay. He has discovered a strat that works. It's the strat of basically ruining my life. I see his plan, but you know what? I can I can compete with that plan massively. All I need to do is this. Um I mean Honestly, I kind of just want to do this, then he'll probably skip, then I can just put it back down, and then I win. Yeah. Um, alternatively, 
I could do a one into a six, which gives me seven. That's not enough. Okay. Because I, I don't have any use of the decoy pass just using it as a card, you know? Oh. You know what? I'm going to open with reviving a six. Although I'm pretty sure his last card is the dandelion, right? Yeah. You know what, guys? I just proved I can win without spies. I just need um, revives and tens. You just got to play carefully and you can do it. You know what? And also, obviously, asserting dominance as always. You got to do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. Glass, glasses, Geralt, standing on your... I'm standing on all your books. How do you feel? That's right. Now, it's swan away, guys. Hipster Geralt is on his... On his he looks like... He's got the glasses, the beard, the sort of shaved sides on the hair. He's, he's classic hipster Geralt right now. He's even got, like, a little little jacket on and everything. Uh, <laughs> this is... It feels quite hard to stone. See, how am I going to get enough um, XP to reach 39 before this DLC ends? Like, I'd love to put on the Viper armor. I'm just going to try and do every quest, I think. Let's go do that treasure hunt. Let's just get it done. I'm I'm enjoying doing all the, the smaller things in the game, you know? Because then, yet again, as with everything else I've done, you have like a bit where you do this, and then you just have constant main quests, and it's so great. Like, I started this playthrough, main quest. I have the mid bit, where I have to do some markers, spread around, you know? It enhances the Witcher experience, Geralt's on his journey, and then you get to the, uh, the, actual, the actual meat and bones of it again, which is always fun. I like doing that. I think that's such a fun way to do it. Hello, fisherman. Can I kick him off? That'd be hilarious. Let's try. Uh, a witcher. Oh, now that's the life. Okay, you really didn't have to make me feel bad. Look for your kind beyond the oh, I forgot to sell things. I got like a Zeracanian saddle? I don't think I've ever had the Zeracanian saddle. Zeracanian saddle. It's the same... Oh, a saddle bags? Oh. That makes it way less cool. Oh, it's really heavy. What, what did I just pick up? Uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to have to go sell stuff, but I, I kind of don't want to drop everything. So, you know what? I'm going to make this a uh, a bit of one of those things where I have to just head back slowly. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when I've sold it. Okay, let's see if this guy's the alcohol. I'm just on my way to sell this stuff, but I um, decided to come here because I think he had it last time. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, wait, that's not the right thing. Wait, maybe it is. In fact, I think it is. Should Farewell. I just check? I might even show this on the uh, the part. Um, normally I don't bother, but yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I'm just going to make as much of this as I possibly can, so I don't have to mess around. Okay, yeah, I got all of that. So, what oil do I need? I need... Albedo. So let's see. Albedo. Uh, I need. Oh god, I just need like three different things. Okay. You know what? Let's just make it. So I need Albedo. Pretty sure I need this. If I don't, I just made some. Hopefully that wasn't a waste. Yeah. I, okay. Then I need Aether. I need Aether, green and red. Aether, green and red. Aether, green and red. Aether, green and red. Aether. And I need the green one and the red one. So, Rebus. And, oh, is it that? Yeah, it's got to be that. Cool. And also, I have apparently a hundred of these. I don't know where they came from. Should I be saving my mutagens? Do I need these for, like, Tucson or something? Should I, should I be... I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them for now. Okay, alchemy time. Now I should be able to make all of them. If I have everything. And that is every single... What? What's happening? I can't... Oh, wait, hang on. Something's weird. Okay, I just finished all the oils. So I've finished every oil I can get. Potions. I'm going to just make the ones I can, I guess. Okay, for this... Uh, I just need loads of goddamn white gull. It's always white gull. This is like this is like the bottleneck of the game. Like, look at it. Every single one. 
Okay, if I just, I'm gonna try and just get the white gold stuff whenever I can, and then I can probably just make every item I possibly need in the game, which is kind of hilarious. Because that's just how much I've collected over these like years of doing this playthrough, you know? Just every single thing, I've just been collecting it. And it's good, it's good, you know? I'm happy with it. I feel, I feel like I've definitely um, prepared myself for these various crafting things you wanna do. Although I, I need to buy more white gold whenever I can. Where's the quartermaster, is he around? No. Okay, right. I'm gonna sell this stuff. Oi, get off. Um. When. Um. I don't. I don't really want any of this. I mean, he he takes it for quite a heavy price too, which is nice. I'll sell those. I'll keep the new moon stuff because I kind of find it funny. Already, I know that it's like a double thing. Um. I know I can sell the weapons for like a higher price to her Tori, but just based on the fact these are like common crap weapons that do nothing. I'm like, ugh, I don't mind just getting rid of those. Um, I can also sell this, which is kind of heavy. Um, see, none of, okay, I, I really don't want to sell some of these. You know, I'm going to go to Hattori to sell the rest of the weapons, I think, because he has quite a lot of gold. Okay, the quartermaster's back. I wonder if this guy sells any. Fancy do you have any alcohol? Ah, he does, he does, look. Oh, and he has a quaint card. What? I already have it. I want. I want it again, though. I need it. I want. I want my second copy of it. And this is like the Nilf Guardian stuff, right? And the Nilf Guardian armor, which I think I have. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm just gonna make as much of that white gold stuff as I can again, while I'm here. I'll just try and get it done. You know. I feel like I. I. That's this part of the game I need to get done more. I need. I'm running out of. Uh, is it called a Renia? Top of my head, I think. A, uh, a Renaria, even. Okay, so I need. Let's see, Rebus. Okay. Rebus. Let's have a look. So I can theoretically make, like, what, two of these? So I can make this. Pretty sure, like, um prioritize the actual good ones, like White Raft's decoction. So this is vermi verm Vermilion. God. It requires, like, those alcohols, like, they should be way more sold, like, nowhere. Okay. Right. And now there's no point really making the other one because I, I would need like, I basically need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times two. I need 16 of them. God, and I got one. So I need another 15. So I need to try and work out where I can buy more of that. Okay, I'm going to go sell these swords. I'm actually going to do um, everything else unless I find the alcohol again um, off camera because there's no point showing all that. And then I'm heading to do the other quests. So amazing. Okay, guys, I am currently in Dandelion's Inn. I'm look. Oh, Ger he looks so cool with the glasses. I think the armor does add to it. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I think he just looks really cool? <laughs> I don't know. I like him. Okay, no, I'm in here because basically I realized I have never talked to this innkeeper. Um, I just realized, oh, there's an innkeeper here. I guess it is technically like an inn. Um, Dan Lyons is sort of the owner, I suppose, the innkeeper, I suppose. And I started talking to him, and he had this bit of dialogue, and I, I actually went back on a save because I um, I realized that I've never I've never shown you the dialogue or even done it <laughs> in regards to this playthrough. And I only talked to him because I wanted to buy the um, the stuff for the, uh, the white gull, and I wondered if he had some, and then it initiated this dialogue, and I thought, I want to show you it. It's you, <laughs> the white wolf. The famous Geralt of Rivia, am I right? You hear about me? Hear about you? Why, I know all there is to know. <laughs> I learned it from Dandelion himself, who's forever telling stories of you and your adventures together, of your hunt for the dragon, and how you outfoxed the Sylvan midst the hemp, of the battle for the bridge, and how he saved you from bandits. Like to hear that one sometime myself. One never tires of Dandelion's tales and ballads. Why, all will be amazed when I tell them the wolf himself takes joy in listening to them. Now, oh, tell me how I may be of service. Something to wet your tongue? Okay, I do actually want to talk to you, but I'd rather do it inside. I don't know what is going on here. Um, oh, there's like a, there's a back door this whole time? Oh my god, there's a back door, guys. I have never used the back door. 
Ah, oh, God, that's not... Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Okay, I want to actually talk to him without it just pulling us outside. Can I Can I just talk to you? Reading. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what is this? Why, why is it pulling us outside? Nothing. It didn't do this before, I swear. Um... No, all those references were from the books, right? The Battle of the Bridge was, um, drink books. The, um, you know, of Rivia, all that. Actually getting properly knighted, I guess. Sort of, right? Um, then there was the, uh, Sylvan. Oh, I'm assuming the bandits might be in reference to the Teruvial thing. Obviously, Dandelion didn't save us, but... Right, you know what? We're talking outside, apparently. Um, what do you sure, sounds fun. Do you sell it, by any chance? He does not. He sells, like, a bunch of cool-looking stuff, but... Right, Gwenting him. Because uh, apparently I've never done that either. Cool. Uh, I didn't change leader. It doesn't matter. I'm going to win. Right. Should I just try and get this done as quickly as possible? I'm not even going to walk through tactics. I'm just going to do it. Okay. I feel like at this point you guys get what I do. You know what I mean? Um, although I do like commentating on it. It's always a fun time. Oh, look how much stuff. I Why is this guy in my... I, I don't know. For fun, I suppose. Uh, okay. Perfect. I'm hoping he tries to re-spy me. Wonderful. This is what Nilfgaard's all about, guys. Ruining someone's life. Okay. So, I wonder if I... If I put this down, is he just gonna skip? It's very, very possible. Although I can now scorch his 10. I'm just getting so many spies. It's unbelievable. Cool. I can get pretty much to where he is with one card. So I'm going to do it, I think. And then I can also scorch him. I do like talking. I realize it's not even like I'm purposely sharing all these tactics and stuff. Not, not that they're necessarily incredible or whatever they're, they're pretty, pretty <laughs> basic but it's it's like it just happens naturally i'm like oh okay now i'm gonna do this okay now i want to do this you know what guys i'm gonna skip here he's got a lot of stuff here and i, I don't want to deal with it that's fine i can revive him interesting so what is my highest thing i can revive because i can revive my spy right now but i'm like if I revive it, he's like a 9 or something. No, he's a 7. So I can basically put him up to 11 here, which I don't really want to do. Unless I do the Yennefer thing, which I think I'm going to do, because I'd rather him not have the spy next round, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Right, now what's the lowest thing I can put? I can put a 6 down, which puts me even, and I'm Nilfgaard, so I win, right? Oh, no, sorry, what am I top Even? 30, I'm too ahead. I don't even, why did I even... Okay, shut up. Okay, uh, I'm tempted to do that because he has decoyed a lot, but I'm going to just hope he can't decoy again. He's decoyed so many times. Yeah, cool. Hmm, it's annoying that he has like a seven there because I can't villain try to murder those sixes. I'm hoping he puts like something a bit, oh god. Because I could villain try to murder him now. Which is it's probably worth doing, just because it's a 14. But he might revive the spy, which is sort of concerning. Because I don't have a plus whatever. I'm hoping he tries to kill my um, villain Treadermirth or something. I'm not sure how, but I'm hoping he does, because then I could revive him and then just kill... Oh my god, look how many 12s there are. God, he's got some good cards, this innkeeper. Way better than I was, like, expecting, you know? I mean, I've won, but... You know, I'm not going to assert dominance in this case. I'm just happy I've won, and it's done. Great game, man. Um, fun to play it in the sun, I suppose. Okay, right. Um, right, I just want to show you that innkeeper. Hadn't actually gwented him, so now we got that done. That's good. I think I've gwented everybody else, from what I remember. Most innkeepers, I just do it when I see them. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking with anyone else in regards to if they have the thing. I've got one more secondary quest, and then I have just main quest pretty much till the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. 
which is really, really cool. So, well, pre end of the uh, expansion. So that's going to be fun. Let's get straight into the secondary quest. I will see you there. Okay, I've arrived. It was actually right next to it. Uh, a thing I already have, so pretty good. I have to look for Falkert's tracks. I'm just going to wander around and hope I pick it up, I guess. I guess that's the strategy. Um, don't see anything so far. I'm excited to get into Blood and Wine. You know what I mean? I think at the moment, I'll tell you guys a bit of a secret. I don't like dating things necessarily, but it, we're cur I'm currently, so where I live, in the midst of a heat wave. In fact, it is quite late. I like to record these parts really, really late at night because I, I get to have just complete relaxation and enjoy it the most. Um, but I'm not going to say the time specifically because it is quite, it is very late. But um, it's like 17 degrees and it got to about 30 degrees today. So imagine playing in Toussaint with this heat. It will feel very appropriate, which I, I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I, I cannot wait to get to Tucson, but obviously Hearts of Stone is just incredible and I can't wait to continue with the main quest because we've still got some amazing main quests to come up. And I'm glad we can just sort of do them now, which is going to be great. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Okay. But as I said, I like, I keep on repeating what I say because I really like hammering at home and I just love talking about it. But doing all this Witcher stuff, I, I love it so much. It really adds to like Geralt. I love the glasses. He looks so, um... <laughs> Cool. Blood. Dried. A few days old. So he's been here a while. Well, this, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the apprentice. Hmm. Okay. We'll just follow it. We'll follow it. See what turns up here. Uh, I'm not seeing anything particularly good so far. Just a lot of blood. Oh, we found a signpost. That's good. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around, ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Is this the place that I think it is? Oh, I don't. This place is really. I I'll set it to morning just because I don't like it when it gets too dark because then we can't see. But hmm. Also, the good thing about Tucson as well is it's so different to everywhere else, which is kind of interesting. It'll be like almost like a whole new game in a way. It really does feel like almost like a revamp of a lot of things in a strange way. You know what I mean? It's very cool. Yeah, it is this place. It is the place I think it is. I'm going to loot everything here. I could probably do it after. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this place. This place is weird. Jude, sharp now. <laughs> With company. What's brought you to these parts, master? Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. Okay, this place, what is it? What is this place, exactly? A village? Plain to see? Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Okay. Looking for Falkert, or Fol Falkert, an, a herbalist apprentice. Looking for someone named Falkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him, Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. Well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. Hmm, okay. The uh, assistant has apparently been savaged by some wolves. We gotta we gotta research this one or look into it, I get a research. We gotta kind of kind of research, okay. So long. Okay. 
I just don't. I just, I think there's more you to again. here, right? Well, out with it. What brings you here? I, I'm pretty sure there's so more to this place. Let me let me talk to the guy. Can can I talk to? Talk to the wife. Oh, whatever. Right. Okay. Well, I'm, I can't go in their house, which is a bit strange. There's an empty chest. Is there another route in, perhaps? I must get to all their loot. Talk to their wife. Taking your alcohol. Hmm. Rotting meat. Oh. I did this even without the herbalist. I didn't even go back, I just found something? Yep, I didn't like this village. There's a sack, I can't. Oh. 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 Night haired halfling. Must be Fulkert. Ripped open, gutted, and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. Oh, there's people in. Yeah, I. 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 I uh, oh, this place creeps me the hell out. It's like one of the few places that really. Do you want to have a look, another look, guys? Do, I don't want to, like, miss anything, but. Oh, uh, like the cuts of meat, the animals, and stuff. Oh, it's just. It's, it's not a nice place. It's just not a nice place. I just. I don't want to be here. I'm leaving. Oh, God. Okay. That's why you look. There was another house that it looked like I could look in. I'll interrogate them in a moment. There was a, a red door over here. There, see? Sort of curious. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> oh, a lesser glyph. Nice. Right. Time to interrogate them. Make a save. Hmm. Before I talk to them, I'm going to have a look around some of the other places, I think. I'm kind of curious. I don't really see anything in the, uh, the other house, though. Oh! Blood stains, months old. Oh, what? Oh, there's handprints. Oh, there's like, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. There is a lot of blood around here. I'm kind of, I might even go check the other house again. Glowing ore. Sweet. Okay, is that everything? But there's like handprints and stuff. Like someone was like kept here almost. I swear to god I just saw like a red thing above me. I'm gonna check the I keep on seeing like red bits. What is what is this? I'm gonna I'm gonna check the house. I'm gonna check the house. I'm gonna check this house. I wanna I kinda wanna check all of them. Cause we know that these guys are cannibals, I suppose. And I'm assuming they killed the halfling and ate him. Okay, that, we can't get into one of the houses. Right, I'm going to go and... Is there anything else? No, we can only get into two of the houses. One of them had a lot of blood and handprints and stuff, which is not great. All right, let's go see him. Okay. I'd like to go in the house, actually. Hey. Hey. Been to your larder. Meat rich diet. That what you like? Master. Not at all. Tate like that. Best hope not. 
or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow. But we gotta eat. Our pity, master. Never eat human flesh again. Take a vow and I'll let you live. Don't believe you. Death's what you deserve. Death's what you deserve. Uh... I mean... This is this. I this mission. I said, didn't I? It's a creepy. Okay. Oh, I knew it was this one. The cannibal village thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they actually eat more than just him because, as you saw in the other house, there was like handprints and blood piles. Like that would have meant that I guess they took him to that house, then cut him up, then got their hand covered in blood, then touched the wall, and then got blood everywhere. But that blood was a month old, etc. So they they have killed more people clearly. Um. So normally I would show like mercy. But they very clearly eat people on like a regular basis and actually probably kill them. <laughs> so I don't believe them. And yeah, exactly this. This is what I'm gonna go with, guys. I don't care old frail, whatever else. Like 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 they're 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 eating people and they're and they're doing it very maliciously. Folks say we witchers have no feelings. It's a barefaced lie. Right now, I feel rage. And I can't wait to vent. Gonna slip your oysters. Okay, they're making cannibal-like things at me. How's that feel, huh? I'm kind of curious if they say anything else. Got any? Got any more? Talk. Oh, that, that this doesn't feel good. I don't. I don't want to see that. You gonna say anything else? Is that all? Just gonna slurp my oysters or something? Chop you up, stick you in a stew. Okay, yeah, they are a hundred percent cannibals. I thought maybe they'd reveal something in this. <sighs> Humans. Oh, I got the key and everything. Yay. Right, what have they got in here? <laughs> There's gonna be something messed up, surely. Like a, a journal? Do it yourself. What is this? Um, okay. Just, I, I briefly scanned that. Nothing to do with cannibalism. Hmm. See, if I hadn't killed him, guys, I couldn't have gone in their house. You know? Yeah, look, we're, we're going there. We're going there. <laughs> Oh, the fuck? Yeah, I'm like pretty sure this thing is meant to be either like an entrance to the thing outside or like a larder or something. I don't think it's anything particularly important, although it could be like a place where they keep people or something. Okay, well, I think I've got everything here. This was a incredibly messed up mission, but as always, glad I've done it. <laughs> let's let's move on to the uh, the heist. <laughs> let's, let's get something uh, weirdly more positive. Uh, not weirdly, it's of course way more positive. Um, we gotta go to the herbalist anyway to turn in this quest, so I guess I'll just head there now. I don't even have to, um, you know, skip. I just literally will just go right there. Amazing. That was a, that was a quest, wasn't it? That was a quest. They've had some messed up quests in Hearts of Stone. I guess it is sort of the theme with Gaunter and everything. You know, punishment, evil people, all that. I mean, we had the, um, the, the mother, remember that? With the, the little, these like little treasure quests. Ah, oh, nice, I'm gonna go do this little quest. Oh, okay, cannibals and, um, and insane people. Great. It's, it's fun. Honestly, guys, I love it. Right, let's do this now. Hey there. Okay, um, yeah, let's tell him. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. I'm gonna tell him. I can't lie. I gotta tell him. He was... Uh, really no gentle way to put this. Cannibals ate him. Cannibals? A short ride from Novigrad. Uh, in Velen, that would be one thing, but... But here... God. You slew them, right? Tell me you killed them. 
I did. He's been avenged. There's that. Uh, your coin. Take it and... And now please be on your way. I must write to Falkert's parents. Uh, well, I, uh, I, ha I have something else I need to do. You know, um... Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll go and loot your herbs. How about that? Is that is that all right? I'll go take all the herbs and you know um, let you let you write that letter. Oh God, yeah, Geralt was completely right there. There's there's no easy way to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just yeah, yeah, not not great, not great. But it's the Witcher's life. You got to deal with these insane things. Absolutely insane things. I mean, it's good. I'm getting all the herbs. It's good. They'll regrow. It's fine. It's good. We might need them. You never know. I'm making lots of oils and potions at the moment. I think what I'll try and do is every so often just head to, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Crow's Perch. Because it will allow me to get the, the thing for the, the white goal. You know, I can get that and then I, then it'll just be easier. It'll just be easier. Okay. That'll do. Um, I guess I could loot whatever else he has out here. It's quite a nice little place, actually. Okay. Right, let's go and do this quest. And make a save, just cause, why not? And I'm gonna just get on with it. Main quest time, guys. Hey there. Uh, need some yarrow extract. Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract. I do. In the back. Follow me, please. It's going to be an awkward conversation. Oh, you two already know each other? How? Uh, well, you know, I, I found out his friend was eaten by cannibals. Oh, okay. Nice. Good team. Any loot down here? No. Okay. Right. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. I'm no thief. Don't even know your name. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Know what it is? Um, what do you want to take from the vault? Right, well, we'll just go top down, I guess. I, I love Geralt with the glasses, at least in Hearts of Stone. It looks very... <laughs> he just... <laughs> it's like we're putting our, our money to good use, I think. We're like, we've we got the glasses, we're proud of them, we're happy we got them. Okay. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in, each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow, you won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in? Or are you not? Hmm... Right, Maximilian Borsodi's house, know what it is. Before we go any further, you even know what Max Borsodi's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? Hmm, what do you want to take from the vault? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? I'm no thief. Well, I'm no thief. I'm also not a Kingslayer, you know, there's been a lot of rumors about me recently, and uh, we need to we need to quell those. We're, we're a good, honest Witcher. Even that tax man, you know, coming to me, giving me my certificate and everything, that was one step in the right direction, but yeah, yeah, no thief. I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house. 
day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Sounds solid. Looks bleak to me. Hmm. I don't know, it just it sounds pretty solid, I have to say. Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. But that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. So be it. Yeah, we're in. We're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna fulfill these wishes any way we can. We gotta do this for all geared because we we owe something to Gaunter because he saved us and everything. Let's do it. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in, but on one condition: no one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Okay, getting inside. What do we have? Opening the vault. What are our options? Culling the patrols. What's that about? Right, we'll just go top down again. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. <laughs> Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Ermin. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man is a big climber. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Okay. So our first two options, I'll have to um, think about it, I suppose. Right, opening the vault, what are our options? All right, opening the vault, who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novograd to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Vault door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Olmus. Might plain turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back. 
by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. I'm gonna say now, I'm probably not gonna go for the dwarf that's trying to just raise his children. I feel like that's not something I would want to do. Um, also, we know, you know, we know Hans, I guess, through um, having played the game a bit, so maybe, maybe that's the option. Um, okay, calling the patrols, what's that about? What's this about calling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldier's nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, let's say. Wouldn't want to raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your fists. Okay, time I was on my way. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Well, we got some tasks here, guys. So... Right, we have a lot of, like, little things to do here. I guess we got to pick people depending. So we can either convince Casimir to take part in the robbery, or we can just go to the mercenary's camp and talk to Quinto. Hmm. And then we also have a bunch of other things. We basically have now got a bunch of quests. Um, I guess we'll start with the Savecracker. Pretty the best one to go with. Um, I need to try and think. I might go and talk to Casimir first, and then I kind of want to talk to them all and then not necessarily select them. I'm going to see if that's an option. I'm going to make a save because I don't actually want to take Casimir, but I'm wondering if I can just get all the dialogue out of him. Um, that'd be the ideal thing, I suppose. So, you know what? Hang on, I can't. Fidelity, she -haw. Wait, what? Hmm. I think before I talk to this guy, I'm actually going to go and talk to the other guy because I just remembered that uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure something happens if I don't pick the dwarf. Um, I could be wrong. I feel like something does, so I want to be able to at least have the option to talk to the other guy. I'm going to try and talk to him. Hopefully something similar doesn't happen with this guy. Uh, it might. I don't think it does, though. I don't think it does. Because I would like to, to talk to as many people as possible. Any last oh, you know what? Oh, I also realized the roach thing I have. I mean, I, I looked at it before, but I didn't even think about it. But it gives me like 15% more gold, which is really, really good. I think from like, I'm assuming from like looting and stuff. Okay, I know these guys. I know these guys. Hopefully they'll be cool with me. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a save. Okay. Purse I got was full of counterfeit crowns. Look at you. You, Quinto. The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa, I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage, right? First you use threat to extort coin, and now you want to scheme with my prisoner. Not a chance. What'd he do? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours, not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! Okay, Quinto can't do without him. Well, I, I can, but uh, I feel like I obviously want to continue this. I don't want to fight these guys. I I didn't extort coin, by the way, just saying. that I, You know, they were paid to do a job. They didn't want to do it, so they paid me less. You know, I'm not pyramid scheming this. It was not on, okay? I think that's fair enough. I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. 
Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. But I've a special rate for you. You fleece me. Now it's my turn. Um. <gasps> how about a game of Gwen? Oh, guys, let's fleece him. Buy him out. Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm. Why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in? Oh, I'm in. You don't even know. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed. Oh, I got this, guys. He doesn't even know the strategy. He doesn't even know, guys, what he is about to go through. He's about to go through some of the worst pain of his life. Oh, the pain is only getting worse with every redraw. I don't need the scorch. Oh, my thing is really high. Okay, well, I hope you're ready for this, man. You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to make sure you enjoy it. Oh, skip. Go on, skip. I got a 15 I can whack down. God damn it. It's fine. Don't worry. I, I have some decoys and I might even get another spy. Oh, there you go. Absolutely perfect, guys. Everything is going according to plan. Oh, you want to skip, dear? I could just literally put down a 10 and win. You know what? Uh, I'll put down Letho, I think. Could have even put down like a, um, an 8 or something. I don't have an 8, but it's fine. Okay. Now. Step one. <laughs> he, he didn't know what he was getting himself into, guys. I'm going to get this guy for free. I thought I was going to have to fight them then, but uh, I didn't. I decided not to. Oh, interesting strategy. Replaying my spies. Doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Just keep doing it. It's kind of crazy. The whole game just goes around. It's like, okay, do you have a spy? Yes. I'm really not sure what to do for my Blood and Mine ending. I feel like I can talk about that during stuff like this when it's like it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. But you know what I mean? I'm like, I really don't know. I, I'm i like, do I want a certain person to live and another certain person to die? Or do I want to... Oh, I don't know. It's hard. It's, very, it's an annoying ending, that one. Okay. I'm going to start putting some stuff down now. Just slowly does it. I'm going to build it back up. Hoping he puts like another 9 down. I'm going to avoid putting anything um, that's like that can be destroyed by a Scorch down. Although it doesn't matter because I just have Villain Treadermirth as my Scorch so it's not too big of a deal really. If he doubles that front row, I could be fucked. I'll admit it. You know, I'm gonna let him try and bait out a Scorch here. Yeah. I need to use some revives anyway, I think. I was running out of options already. Okay. Imagine if this guy has a, um, a Commander's Horn as, like, his last card. That'd make this very hard. He doesn't, though. Okay. I mean, I'll give it to him. He's got a lot of cool shit. Step one. Get rid of that. Step two, this. Then this. I gotta show him, guys. I really gotta show him in this case. Normally I wouldn't, but in this case he has, um, you know, I gotta two crown him and win. Boom. Pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy handed hands? The Tretagor maneuver. With cards like that. <sighs> Get him out of here before I fucking burst her. What? How did you? Fishbone. Did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Um. 
Nothing yet. Tell you later. Got... got someone else I need to talk to. I get that. When the time's ripe, look for me at the Academy Gate. Come nightfall. Farewell. Hmm. You know, I like that guy. I do like that guy. I mean, should I go talk? I'm gonna go talk to the other guy first, but I would also like to go and talk to, um... Quinto. That's his name, right? So I'm, I'm not sure. I think if I talk to this other guy, though, I don't get the dialogue with Quinto. So I'm like, maybe I should just go and see Quinto. But I guess that's sort of confirming that I've picked him. So I don't really want to do that. I'm going to go talk to the other guy first. See what he says. But I think he does something that... I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to pick, to be honest, guys. I probably just have to pick. I think that's sort of the stage I'm at, really. I'm going to be able to mint some like slightly more dialogue out of Quinto if I go and talk to him first and then still say no. But I'm assuming that it won't let me do that or something like that. I'm, I'm just going to assume. So I'm going to head back to where I was before. I'm going to talk to this guy now. And I'm going to have to decide what I do, I think. I'm actually not going to use my sign. I think you can use a sign on him. I'm going to hope it does something else. I'm going to make another save just in case it does mess up. And I'm like, oh, whoops. Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, it guards. Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? Isn't it plain? Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Brought the winds, pearls, silks, satins, and how the fuck should he pay me? Made me a heat banger cuckold! Okay. Um, right. Family troubles. Huh. A falling out in the family? Aye. His Euphemia. She were fine. Pretty as a picture, you might say. And five bairns they has. On the short side, but so well mannered. Always bow. Ask after your health. Not at all grumpy like the Elderman's laddies. Till the day Euphemia bundled up her belongings and their bairns, tossed them all on a wagon. And that's all we've seen of her. Master Chasm has been pure yampy since. Balling, whinging. Now this. Ah, this'll be one for the plowing annals. Going out with a bang. When this fucking blows, they'll see the fires in Novigrad. Um, yeah, let me talk to him. God, I'm I, poor guy. <laughs> okay. I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered... Wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing, not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail military, our hallowed mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lightly come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believe the bugger. Three years they bumped the boot under my nose, then ran off! My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Hmm. Um. Okay. Really sorry. Set this torch aside. Let's talk this out. You're pathetic. Get down now. You're pathetic. Uh. Honestly, I'm like. Right. Okay. Okay. Care to set that torch aside so we can talk this out calmly? 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 Winds tossed me aside, took the winds, and I'm to be calm! The country, she says. Fresh air's what I need, she says. So we came out here. Anything for my bunny! Set instead of sucking air. She sucked off the postmaster in my plowing bed. I can't take it no more! You'll find another. Forget about it. Got a job for you. Actually, oh, um. I'm gonna say this, because I feel like maybe giving him like, oh, I've got a cool job for you. He might be like, yeah, that sounds fun. I'm almost tempted to take take the uh, dwarf, you know? Like, I, uh, I don't know, I like Quinto, but I, I think the dwarf's quite fun. 
Forget about it. Listen, got a job for you. <coughs> for forget it! Here I am, bearing my soul! And you're gonna talk me up about work! You're all the same! We the work, we're born to muck about in the mind, <laughs> bend our necks, the human yokes. You didn't get a duck's cock about it, you planning racists! Doubt your f um. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be comforted by this, so I'm just gonna go with this. But we'll see. I don't know. This is a this is a minefield, literally, <laughs> to to work around. Come to think of it, doubt you're fit for the job. Not in that state. What? I'm not fit? What the fuck are you saying I'm not fit for, you cocksucker? I'd need you to blow something up. Open. But... And I'm not fit for that. Me! Casimir Bassi, top mind foreman in Mahakam! More like top cuckold in Redania now. Top... <laughs> what? You wait. You car. You rogue. You dickhead. You just wait. Oh god, I'm fighting him? Okay. Little I didn't mean to do that, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Flowing smashes! Oh. Maybe, oh wait, maybe I do want to use the sword actually. Guys, stop screaming, look. Okay, the barrels are gone at least. God, this guy's got the stamina of a god. My bones, right splinter them. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, would have preferred to talk it out. Thing is, you gave me no choice. Nay, then he apologized. I needed something of the sort, some fella to knock the muck out of my heat. Oh. So, uh, <clears throat> what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door permanently so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? I'm gonna say this, but I'm pretty sure it then gives me an option that I then I have to say yes to him, so we'll see. Or no. Uh, well, if I say no, something happens. I'll let you know. What? I was a minge here from taking my life. Now you give me the part of a wench from personnel at manufactory. Didn't he call on us? We'll call on you. Are you pure mad dafty? Now talk, and didn't you swipe me? Are you giving me the job or not? You know, if I was actually Geralt, I would be like, no way. But... Because I'm playing as Geralt and I think it'd be really fun, I'm actually going to give him the job. <laughs> I could give the, you know, the very professional locksmith, I could let him come and slowly take the vault down, make no noise, you know, but I like the dwarf. I had a fist fight with him, I feel like we bonded, you know, he's, he's kind of mad, I like it. Uh, I, I feel like we're going to have him, we're going to have him, we're going to have Verdania's greatest cook called, as Geralt called him. You know, that's what he called him, guys, that is literally what he called him, okay, I'm, I'm quoting Geralt. Yeah, you're hired. Welcome aboard. You're coming. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Now calm down. Hut of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland stream. See ya! Well, that was wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um... Right, well, I guess I have the other things to do now. That's, that's the first part of our, um, you know, our crew. That's amazing. We just gotta get the masks now. You know, the, uh, the Joker masks. 
Okay. Um. I didn't, that was that was insane. Okay. Um. We now have Hugo Hoff and Ever Everline Gallo. I guess we'll talk to both of them. We'll go to one after the other. Um, I'll go and do that now, I suppose. I'm actually gonna check something first, just before I go there, but I will I will basically cut back to when I'm there for you guys. I'm just gonna check something in the game. Oh, there he is. Greetings. How's it? Got some form of employ for me? Sorry. Can't say yet. You're forgiven. Take your time. I shall await word. Oh, that's literally all he does? Uh, whatever. Okay. Okay, guys, I am pretty much at the house now. Stay I'm going to go and see Hugo way. Hoff, see where he's hiding, what he's up to. And yeah, this is we're just going to we're going to chat to them. I, I want to chat to everyone as much as I can, you know. Um, yeah, I'm glad I picked the dwarf. I'm happy about that. Right, let's let's see who we're going to get next, though. Just... Hey, anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does not look good. Hmm. Step one, I guess we examine the blood. Blood. Someone knocked their head on this beam. Open cut. Hmm. I'm getting like a little bit of lag. Just give me a second. Okay. Ah, right. So we got some footprints. Bare feet. Fresh prints. So this is the um the halfling, right? I'm pretty sure. Boring. This is who uh Oh no, we don't want ever lion, we want this. Okay. Yeah, Hugo Hoff or whatever his name is find out where he's gone, or where someone's gone that's attacked him, at least. I mean, these feet are pretty small, so it might be the halfling. I also feel like halflings had quite big feet, though. Oh. Okay. Not your lucky day. Apparently not. I don't know why I can't do this. Okay, there you go. The ultimate strat. Ow. Th this strat is unbelievably overpowered, by the way. Like, I almost don't want to use it. Should I use this? You know what I mean? Because I, I can literally just, like, knock them over and then just... <laughs> Like, why did I not do this the whole game? Looks like Hugo ran into trouble. Gotta find him fast. I mean, it seems a bit overpowered. Okay, soak letter. Heimk. Round up the lads, we've got a job. It's time Hugo Hoff took a long walk of a short pier on the Pontar. To prove it's done, bring back his ear. Folk. P.S. Seems Ewald's interested in Hoff too, so watch your arse. Look at that, just... Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll give her that one. I'll give her that one. She might be talking about me, but I'm assuming she's talking about the bodies. That's what I'm going to go with. So, search the bottom of the river for Hugo Hoff's body? Ooh, okay. Will do. Let's have a look. Can we find anything? So, something to do with the Ewald, too. Oh, nice. Imagine if he was alive. Oh my god, what what, if, what is it? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is, I didn't know there was HDT physics. Uh, what, what do they tie it to? A rock, a rock, I think. I think it's a rock. Oof. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um... Yeah, we'll leave him there. Uh, it'll be, we'll be fine. Yeah, no. Go sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Everline. To be honest, uh, even if there was an option, which obviously there isn't, I would have probably gone for Everline anyway. I like the idea of having like a, 
I don't know, a variety of peoples, you know, a, a very acrobatic person and a dwarf with, like, explosions and stuff. I think that's all very cool. Human, a dwarf. Oh, no, she's an elf. She's an elf, right? What am I even talking about? She's an elf. An elf, a dwarf, me, a witcher, and technically Ewald, who is a, um, uh, whatever you call it, a, a human. Why did he just spit at me? And also we need to make this or something. Prepare a cleansing mixture? Sure. I think I could probably just do that now, right? I'm assuming it's under quest items. Yeah. Requires a bunch of stuff I have. Nice. Use your Witcher senses to eavesdrop on... Oh, I may as well do that now if I'm here. Like, why not? I'll do Everline or whatever her name is last. I don't know. I, I mean that because I I kind of it's like Ev Evieleline or some crap. I think right, I'm just gonna go with Everline. I like that name. It's a name I know. Okay. Use your witch senses to eavesdrop on Redanian soldiers. What do you oh, is it these two say? again? From the auction. What do you happened. have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests, apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army? I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. That's like, that was the dude that sung the song, right? Oh no, you're the, the guard that sung the song. Vatslav is the other guy, right? I think? Don't rile me, Everyone Gramps. to me! To me! Gramps? I think they just call him that because he has white hair. Because I say Geralt looks arguably younger than, like, most of the people in this game. Unless they're just... I don't mean this in a horrible way, but unless they're just Stay ugly and that makes them look way. older, which I know sounds awful, but you know what I'm... Because I don't think people are ugly. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that, like, Geralt is, like... You know what I mean? He's got style and all the, like, cool hair and the beard and the glasses. You know, he's, 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 and all these guys are just wearing the same clothes. I mean, ugly in that sense, you know, they just look the same. Okay, um, apparently this guard's, what do you oh, have to say? sneaky girl. You got a daughter? Why do you ask? Well, think on it. To marry into a dynasty like that, it'd be like living in Clover. Trust me. You do better not to take any interest in the Basordis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, there was some new stuff I learned, and I was like, ah, actually, I, uh, not really. Okay, do I have to, like, be secretive? I'm kind of trying to be secretive, even though I'm not sure if that's worth doing. What do you have to say? Fish chowder for supper the day. Uh -huh. Not true. Who told you? No. Yeah, I'm just going past guys, just doing my thing. No one came through the western gate the morn. Saw Martin on the... Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Pretty much, pretty much. I'm hoping I can wear the Viper armor. Maybe I'll get to like the proper level after this quest done. Maybe I can make the armor today if I'm the right level. I feel like there might only be um, one part left <laughs> after this, you know, because I'm just gonna be, I've got nothing else to do part main quests. And they are long and it'll probably take the full length of the part, but God, six parts for uh, an entire, but it is an expansion, you know, it's it's like a, it's like a mini expan, not even a mini one. Uh, Blood of Mine is way longer. Um, and six parts is actually quite a bit. Like, qu that's quite a bit, I'd say. Okay. And I, I did do little bits of the content, I guess, in the base game. Like, probably the occasional marker or something. Mm. Oh, it's this guy. Must be the cook. Didn't I try and, like, knock him off before or something? Okay, I'm gonna make a save. I'm assuming I can either, um... You know, like, mind control him or, with Axie, or I can just pay him. It'll be one or the other. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. 
Yeah, you're oh, 500, huh? This is why you get this perk, guys. It, it drains your money. <laughs> Not quite as much as the um, the Ethiri guys, but it still drains the money. You're gonna help me free a charge, man. You know, it'll be fine. Asking a lot, too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. I, I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word. Understood. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. You know what? Honestly, even if this messes up through some way, I'm I'm just happy I don't have to pay the 500 crowns. Cause Christ. I mean, I've, well, how much have I got? I got nearly 15,000 again, and One then I can sell all the swords. You know what? Um, I actually got a comment that was very interesting. It was about how the price of the Fairy Rune Rite and stuff, like all of that is just significantly more than you ever have to pay on Corvo Bianco. So that's kind of encouraging, although I am aiming after every Grandmaster set too. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I feel like I have actually, you know, I've considering, I guess I have collected basically everything I can in the game and I've managed to get every Mastercrafted Witcher set Pretty much every potion, I just need the alcohol stuff. And I've also managed to get all the Ethere stuff at this point of the game, and I still have like thousands and thousands and thousands of crowns. So if you do everything in the game, you can actually afford this stuff. It's just, it's awful. And you have to like really plan it, I suppose. Like if I just sold all those swords to like random smiths and not specific smiths, I would have had less. I probably would have had more actually if I'd known that way earlier on. I did kind of know it, but I, I sort of couldn't be bothered, you know? But I realized how important it was. You know what? I'm going to go to the Vagal Bird residence to get there. It's been a while since I've been there. It's kind of nice to go back to these places. Um... I'm gonna wait till day though. I just wanna make sure. So we did actually hit level 38 as well. I have a bunch of perks, although there's nothing I can really do with them, so I'm not sure what to do in regards to that. I'm actually, I, it looks like I can go into the house. I'm wondering what's happened in here. It's been a while. I feel like this, I look at it, guys, I'm not just trying to find stuff to do. I'm genuinely curious about what's going on in here. The last time we were here was for the party, right? Or something like that. Oh no, 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 we were here for the, the uh, what's his name? The coroner, right? The coroner thing. So there's still party guests here with masks. Mm -hmm. Been to Vizima. The word is, it's more like a pigsty than a capital. It, it isn't great. I have been there. We went there in The Witcher 1. It's, it's fine. It's not the best thing in the world, I will be honest. I'm wondering if I can actually get into the main house. I swear there's a route there, right? Like through the, the maze? I don't know. Maybe I can't. I'm just curious. I haven't been here in a while. Oh no, I can, I can. I'm curious, I'm gonna go in here, hopefully I won't have to do any, um, censoring. Because I never really looked around this house or looted. Why, why am I now doing this? No, I did loot, I did loot here, I did loot here, I remember. God, I never really- oh. You're still crying? Okay, look, um, I'm probably gonna cut that, but I just saw something and I, um... Why is this? I swear to God, this this house is supposed to be locked up, right? Why is it open? Did they just open it at the end of the game in like the end game state? Because I've tried to come here in the past and everything has been locked up, but I, maybe I did that in like something else. Because for some reason I can just walk in here. Like I, I swear, like when I saw the only reason I actually came in is because I saw the door over there was open and I was like, oh okay, I guess I can go in. Because I've, I've tried to come in here in the past, later down the line, it has never let me, but I'm assuming that's probably because I was not in like an end game state save. So I guess you can come here? I don't know why everything would be open otherwise. Oh wow, there's actually stuff here? Oh wow, okay. See, you know, I, I, I hate to say it guys, yet again, but uh, you know, that's, that's why you go and loot these places. <laughs> oh, and the race is like right here? That's like really close, I didn't even realize. <laughs> Okay, right, let's go and let's go and see um, Everline. I think I was actually right. Or Everline or something. I think it must be Everline. Um, and we'll we'll recruit her to our, our band of merry people. We're, well, of two people at the moment. I feel bad about not accepting the other locksmith, but to be honest, I didn't really trust him. I feel like the dwarf, he might go a bit insane, but he's he's not going to betray me. I don't, I don't think he has it in him. You know, he's not going to do anything like that. He's not going to... If the job falls sour, he's going to defend me. We're going to try and make a, a Hearts of Stone Zoltan out of him. It's a shame we never get to see Zoltan again, do we? Kind of sad. Or Triss. Oh well. New characters. It's all fine. We get to see um, a certain character at the end. That'll be nice. There, here she is. 
The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you? Talk. What do you want? I'd prefer to speak with you privately. Or to speak to you privately. I wanted to ask you to work with me. I actually want to talk to her privately, considering what this is. Uh, it's, it's, it's a heist, so let's, let's see what she says. Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. Let me guess. Got a monster needs killing? <laughs> All he is, what is it? Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Let me guess. There's a monster needs killing. Somewhere, certainly. But not here. May I finish? Or would you rather keep guessing? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we not spent it already. Ah, uh, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Oh, easy. Totally. Did you notice how in that cutscene, well, so, you know, in-game, whatever, um, you can slightly see Geralt's glasses just disappeared? Maybe I could refund the tickets. No, I'll perform with you. I want to do it. Uh, I feel like, Geralt, we've had some experience in the games performing, and we're going to perform now. It's going to be great. In many aspects of the game, we have tried to perform. Sometimes, not so much. There's a part recently where we tried to perform. Um, we actually tried to avoid performing, but it, it happened, and it was not something we liked. So we will perform now, and we will do it to the fullest ability that we can. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Sure, let's do it. Oh, look at that little building. That's the Vagal Bird Estate behind us on the left, isn't it? That's cool. Okay. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares, damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Prime! What? But I... Shh! Grab your crossbow and get to work. Okay. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Okay, I've got this. Okay, okay, okay. One down, one down. Uh, could I actually... I, I really don't want to. Imagine if I did. Imagine if I did. Could I actually do that? I'm not going to do it, but... We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. That man didn't shoot the elf. 
That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Yeah, you're hired. Go to see the herbalist. I kind of want to replay. I'm going to do that in the future. I want to see what happens if you actually shoot him in the head. Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I don't think I've ever actually bothered. Gotta hide out. Herbalist's hut near Oxenfurt. Stones throw away. Ask for extract of yarrow. He'll let you in. Hmm. Couldn't you just take me there? Um... I mean, sure. I was going to loot the camp, but honestly, there's not really going to be anything here I feel I need. I could always come back if necessary, so whatever. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Let's go. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, its vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, We'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? No plan B if, uh, no, yeah, no plan B if something goes seriously wrong? Yeah. Hmm. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that. No room for friendship in this business. I mean, we could still plan for something. Okay, whatever. Right, any security measures inside? Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of salt, peter, cordite, and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Hmm. Secret passage? Uh, why not get in that way? Seems dumb not to. Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm hmm Great. Aye, but you could... Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? Hmm. Fair enough. Right. Let's get to work. I don't know what to say. I said like a sweetie. Let's get to work. I don't know. Right, let's get to work. Let's do it. All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about masks? Got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you with my own hands. Meet you all there. I say we go there together now. We could just go there together. I, I honestly wouldn't mind. Um, you know what? I, I say we just meet them there. I mean, we could just go. I'm going to meet them there. I want to meet them there. Hmm. Sure know how to motivate a crew. No matter. See you there. Yeah, I like that. It makes us seem more more mysterious and cool. I want to go back to that place and loot it so much. <laughs> okay, where is it? Vagelbud Estate. Vagelbud Estate. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, I can't remember. It's up here? Yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here. Look, there's like some merchants and stuff. It's kind of interesting. 
Okay, I'm pretty much at the place, guys. It's kind of dark, but I was like, eh, I don't mind. I'm just gonna loot them blind. <laughs> I, I said, guys, I wanted to loot them. I thought it'd be fun. I'm actually, maybe I should have waited. I would like to come back here after the heist. I've been curious to see what the state of this place is. Hello? Welcome, welcome. What would you say to a hand or two of Gwent? Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goons are not swallows. They will not flit nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent, hmm? Oh, I want to Gwent you, man. So, should we lay him down? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you need not ask twice. Well, apparently before this heist, we're Gwenting, guys. All right, let's just let's just finish this guy really quick. Get onto the heist. Good, I came back here, huh? There's actually some stuff. Go on, skip, I dare you. I always hope they skip, just in case, you know? Because if he skipped then, I could have um, just put down a 15. He still might, he still might. Okay, I'm going to put down my terrible cards. Right, and this is where I do this. I think I still, yeah, I still win if I put down a 15 now. Right. Boom. Okay. Round one is ours. Um, right, now I'm just going to hope he tries to revive some spies and stuff. Try and make sure he plays everything he can. Okay, there you go. He's going to start reviving all the spies, playing them. It's fine. What I'm going to do is basically just get such a high lead that it doesn't really matter. Then he can spy me as much as he wants and I can revive it next round. Yeah, I'm just going to keep putting my 10s down, I think. And then I'm also going to put down cards I can revive. Because I have, like, loads of revives that I can't even use. I can use three, so theoretically I only want to be able to revive three of these cards. So I can revive her, him... And him, I guess that's all I need to do. Although I have like loads of, I have loads of revives. I didn't even realize. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do this. Okay. Right, that'll do for now. Okay. Right, time to revive the spy. Okay. Oof. It's a bit of a lead I just gave him. It's fine. I got my commander's horn. It's f yeah. It's fine. It's fine. And also, he can't scorch me because he will kill all his stuff. I can commander's horn this row. It'll be fine. I feel like I really gotta show him. You know what I mean? I feel like he's he's got way too close with this. It's it's uh it's, it's wounded me. Okay. Boom. There you go. And that's how you win. Wonderful. Right, have you actually got well, any Gwent cards? Well, uh not uh yes, yes, yes. We already we already you... did this. Curious about this. Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh, Curious conclusion, why? Well, should be hawking goods. Instead, Gwent's all you talk about. Hmm. You're right. So, care for a match. Oh, uh, no, I just be you. I don't need to fight like anymore. To a... ah. Oh, you sell Gwent cards. Who would have thought? I don't even know if I need them, but I'm taking them. Should be. If ever you. Yes, yes. Oh, weird. Why is it all like. Oh, okay, that was really strange, okay. Right, let's get the rest of this loot, then we're gonna head and do this heist. Perfect, some rope. Right, guys, we've got all the platters and ropes we need. Wait, is there more? No. Okay, right, let's go do this heist. I will, um, 
I guess I can just, like, walk there. I can meet you guys there. I will get there for us. So, I want to be getting there about midnight, so I'm pretty much there, and um, I'm going to just wait, and I guess then we'll, we'll do it. I'm pretty close. I'll set it to midnight. We're a little bit past the previous midnight now, so it's fine. And we'll get on with this mission. This is going to be awesome. Okay, let's make a save, and let's go. Fuck. Yeah, yeah thanks for that, man. early bird in our midst. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three. Two. One. It's clear. On your way. Plowing city foul shite all over again. What? I'll show you. Patrol's turning round. We've one minute. Move! Damn. Should have blown myself at Ben's prick and all. Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. We'll argue later, you can be sure of that. Agreed. Past the point of no return. Um... I'm... Uh... I mean... Yeah, I, I sort of feel like Geralt would just... He would just sort of wants to take his opportunity to argue with this guy. I feel like uh, he, he's wanted it for a while. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Oh, nice. Don't worry, guys. Things will get lighter soon. Bit of loot in while we can. Any other loot up here before we leave, guys? Hang on. Wait there. Wait there, everybody. Come on. Letters must be old. String seems to say so too. A love letter? 
Annotation, item acquired with the rest of the Von A. Hmm, estate, put up for auction. Starting price, one crown? No bids. Oh, for this particular thing. My love, don't give up. There's still a week till you're wed to the Afiri. This is from Olgir, then. I think I'll think of something. Perhaps I'll get the coin by then. Perhaps my tears will convince your father. Perhaps the gods will hear our prayers. Or if not, they. Perhaps some devil will. Hmm. Um, if nothing else helps, I'll crash into the temple through the window and swoop you up from the altar. We'll flee somewhere far, far away to the edge of the world where no one will find us. You write of sadness, I feel this weight too. Oh wait, you write of sadness, I feel its weight too. I think of you constantly, of how we met at the, uh, of, sorry, of how we met at the alchemy till dawn nursing a, a bottle of wine, and you traced our dream house in the sawdust on the floor, of how we dangled our feet in the water from the dock and you sang those bawdy songs and made me laugh and laugh. I kiss the medallion carrying your portrait before I fall asleep and as soon as I wake. I swear on all that is holy, we shall be together forever. Be brave. I love you. Your O. It was true love. Oh, all good. It makes it a little bit more, more understandable why he did the things he did, but it's it's not quite there, let's be honest, uh, considering. But anyway. God, it's so dark. Don't worry, guys. I'll be in a light place soon. Right, well, we got everything, at least. Okay, let's go. Make a save. Ah, see, there you go. Nice and light. Clear for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Minor Edelman. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yeah, just the vault. I didn't take anything. Shut up. Yes. But we shall raise the starting pr Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. Yeah, fuck it. You said... I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Please don't kill people. Going down. <laughs> Mistake. You know what, I'm not gonna use... You know what I could do? Can I finish him off with this? Get up! Slice him! Slice the ball bag! God, these, this is, um... Can I... I can't finish him off with the wooden sword. That would have been kind of hilarious. Okay. Watch out, Geralt! I'm just gonna try and focus one down, I think. He's not to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Uh, not about to. Um, pull back. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that. You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself! 
No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. I told you to pull back, tell me a joke. Bring us a wagon and horses. Right, gotta be that, surely. So we want a wagon and horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets. <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon then? What kind? The carriage that carried Radovid to his coronation, nothing less. Uh, doesn't matter. You know what? I'm going with this. I'm going with this. We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right. I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. Oh, Christ, we just blew up the auction house, sort of. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, am I using my actual sword now? Wonderful. Okay, right. Uh, look, I, I don't think the sword's gonna do it, Geralt. Um, Shut up and fight. Right, Ewald, you deal with him. Uh, I read so much damage there. Okay. I'm slowly dealing with them. Christ, I'm just going to kill to get this one. <laughs> Art is so overpowered, by the way. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm also not really taking any damage. Like, look. I take, like, nothing. Like, look, let, I'll let one of them hit me, look. I do, like, they do, like, nothing. I'm going to try and axe him. You know what? Let's just break his shield. Pretty easier. Close. I'm getting really close, guys. There you go. See? I did it. Finally. I think you just have to finish with like a heavy attack. All knocked out. There you go. See, we didn't have to kill him as well. Damn it! Explosion triggered that fight. Stranger. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Where's Eveline? Just fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Sure. Where's the dwarf? Wait. Before, can I just loot this place to like to to everything? Yes. All the books. I will take them all. Oh, list of objects in need of restoration. Wait, I don't know what that is. In preparation for the upcoming auction, I hereby certify the receipt of the following items entrusted to me for restoration. Elven for what the hell? Porphritic? Por Porphritic, I don't know. 
A statue of Aileren, sculpted by an unknown master. Lady Drift with Hung Fox, all painting from the Atelier of Master Van, Van der Nob. Jediet, statue of a goose girl and seven accompanying geese figures, figurines. Pipe carved cherry wood with a ceramic stems. Okay, this is kind of not ruining the mood, but there's a lot. Okay, okay, this is the bit I wanted. Okay. Pinewood trunk ornamented with brass elements crafted by the workshop. Okay. A painting by Van Roe. A pseudonym associated with the work of Lady Iris von Everek. Oh. Well. Iris, huh? Han van Mergrin. Well. Interesting, huh? Iris. A name. We have a name, guys. Look, I, this is why you loot, guys. This is why you loot. There's so much stuff here that you might miss. Oh, look at all these books I already have. But I would have missed that Iris thing. Ah, uh, see, look, another thing. Request for payment. This document certifies that my principal, Emmett Lumendorf and Sons Co., registered by tr in Tretagore, power of the attorney forms attached, has authorized my office to make payment for services rendered, namely forging installation of um, doubly fortified and armored doors fitted with Colossus brand locks for the Voldemort Studies Auction House in Oxford. This document likewise cons constitutes a request for payment in the amount of 65,000 crowns, Christ, Novigrad crowns within two weeks of its receipt. If all the conclusion of said pay... Uh, period no payments have if at uh, the conclusion of said period no payments has been made collection procedures will be initiated in the proper judicial channels robert hilbert esquire i just want to make sure i don't miss anything look i know this is a very intense moment guys but you know i gotta do this i gotta do it okay letter from Master Matthew. Dear Master Bosodi, I write to you concerning a most atypical matter, but please do not dismiss it su summarily. Uh, sum summarily. Sum summarily, I think. Uh, for both you and the institution you run are in great danger. Allow me to explain what I mean. It so happens I am, rena I am a renowned astrologist and teller of fortunes. In recent days, for evident reasons, I have been forced into hiding, but a small circle of loyal customers has been kept informed of my whereabouts. One of these customers is a lady of high birth. Her name I shall not disclose out of discretion. Said lady came to me with a request. She wanted to learn what price would be certain items um, would sell for the upcoming auction. After voicing my many objections, I nevertheless ran, relented to the lady's request. But before you take offense at this interference in your business, please read to the end for the cards I laid out. This lady told me something very important. The constellation of the cards clearly indicated a wolf shall appear at your doorstep and you shall not let him enter. But he shall nevertheless find a way inside. He shall enter your house, then take your house from you. I saw a tower struck by lightning and blood drinking blood. I believe you are extremely aware what that signifies. Am I not right? Oh, wow. Um, as fair reward for this warning, please hand a sum of 2,000 crowns to the man delivering this message. My sincerest respects, Master Matthew. Well. I wonder what that's about, guys. A wolf and blood spilling its own blood. Interesting. Look, just, just before we um, fully get out of here, I want to make sure I get everything. Look, we are in a rush and all the rest, but, you know, Geralt, he moves very quickly. He can deal with this. Right, let's carry on with the quest. Let's do it. Running away. A building just exploded. We're going to do it. We're getting into the vault. It, uh, we, oh, my God. The dwarf is incredible. Let's go. A mighty fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. With no time. Yep, you needed a master swordsman, huh? You right, man? Hell you want. Calm down, man. Right. I'll loot after. I really want to loot, but I will loot after. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna loot, guys. I have to. I'm sorry. It has to be done. Same paintings were on the block. Hmm. Same paintings were on the okay, block. Okay, we get it. I really would like to take the paintings. I, I, I. They're in the vault. Oh. Lock themselves in. Okay, they made it. They made it. We had a bit of time, it seems. So that's cool. We did knock out the guards, I suppose. All of you. Well, the majority of them. Oh, look at all this loot. I just want to get it now, you know. But we'll count it as RP Geralt. Look, there you go. Same paintings were on the block. So that's the one, no? You'll pay for this. Wish I could take the paintings. 
Okay, right. Well, that was a proper look around. I think we got everything. Uh, make a save. Let's carry on. Okay. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah. You old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy. Should have known you know you owe us an explanation, you old Wasodi, or uh, you old. I like calling you old. I pretty much prefer it. Um, you old, whatever. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you, give you whatever you want. Tempting off a host. I'm in, <laughs> I'm with you. Can't bribe me, I'll stick to Ewald. Not about to meddle in your grimy matters. Oh, uh, I have no, I got to think about this. Dwarf, I need some advice here. What, what do you think? I mean, look, Dwarf, you're not saying anything. You got a stone face and everything. I almost want to say this, but I'm also like, look, I've kind of done this with Ewald. He got me in here. I, I'm not necessarily loyal to him, but he does seem also like he was kind of cheated out of it. All he wants to do is get this this will and see what it says, and I think that's fair enough. I'm going to side with Ewald, uh, or Ewald, whatever, and I, I feel like I'm already pretty meddled in the grimy matters, Geralt, so let's do it. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass! Hallowed words, mate. Adam! Okay, you old. I, I don't know about that name, but sure. Right, let's deal with the, the guards first. Let, let's just get it out of the way. I'll let those two fight for a bit. Look. Horst, your brother is is there. Why are you going for me? What have I done? Oh, there's like a thing there. Oh no, there's not. Oh my god, I just took so much damage looking at that. Hang on. You know what? I know the strategy for shield, boys. I, I thought I did. Uh, it, 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 it works sometimes, is what I'll say. I feel like maybe I should just go for Horst, but... Honestly, I, I kind of want to leave him till last, you know? Not what I meant to do. Um, I don't want to have too many potions, because I don't want to have Potion Face in the upcoming... I'm trying, man, I'm trying. Okay. I also don't trust Horse. He had a pretty bad reaction to me in the auction house without knowing anything. Although he did have the um that letter regarding me, didn't he? Now I think about it. So kind of just still tried to bribe me, stole his brother's money. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything 
anything. Sign over to me all that you owe. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. <laughs> Fifteen years, in the sewers, begging, like a beast, and you've the cheek to plead! Take that! Satisfied? Exceptionally! You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see, it houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Gents. Gents, keep calm. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. This is this is not a bust. We can figure this out. Dumb decision, but have it your way. I just want to clarify, guys. I don't want to... I wasn't, like, siding with you all necessarily. I guess technically... I, but, like... I didn't expect him to do any of that. It was more of a case of like, look, I'm not just going to join Horst. I'm not just going to like stand back and watch. Uh, I'm, I'm either way. It was going to be, I knew it was going to be like a whole like, uh, blah, blah. And if I had to choose anyone, you know, you old, I guess I was there with him. You know, I, I'd already gone that far. And it's not like I was, I was necessarily like, I didn't want to kill Horst, but he was pretty willing to kill me. And I'm, I'm sure he would have. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think, I think I'm sort of fine with that decision. I think it's fine. Um, I don't necessarily want to kill him now. I mean, his brother and him, that's that's their business, I suppose. And this is like the world of the witch, you know, stuff like... I just, I just met a bunch of cannibals, you know? Right, there's not a burst, we can figure this out. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Okay, before we go, I want to loot everything I can. I want to loot literally everything I can. I want everything from here. So I know a lot of people might disagree with me there, with my decision to not kill you old. But the way I see it, that was sort of like a family matter. I, I didn't really have anything to do with it. Obviously, you all did kill people, and you did all this other stuff. And, you know, we, we sort of said we're going in, you know, can, can you not kill people? We want to make sure. And he did kill people throughout that entire thing. Um, which is not good, but he didn't necessarily agree to that, I feel. <laughs> like, we said not to, and it should have been assumed that he shouldn't do it, but ultimately it's like, look, I've killed people in the game and stuff, and it obviously, like, they've attacked me first and all the rest, but it does happen. And he was defending himself. I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a confusing thing. I did literally just till, kill two guards then. Yet again, defending myself, but a different thing. Um, but I think if you, like, apparently if you, I think if you kill you old and, um, Horst... You basically... Hell, you want... I'm just, I'm just talking, man. I think you basically get 
to the the orphanage is sorry the uh the house thing the auction house goes to an orphanage which like pays for them and all the rest and i think in the the specifics of the document they're in there it's like him and his brother had to shake hands every year for like 10 years or something so i'm just trying to think every year for 10 years or something something like i don't something like i don't know something like that once a year every year for 10 years or something something like that even if they didn't then it would just default to an orphanage and that's what's also in the will and obviously you all can't do that now and um, all the rest. And it's also like, well, Horse did technically screw his brother out of what was his inheritance, effectively. And then on top of that, he didn't just screw him out of his inheritance. He also then left him basically for dead, it seems. He didn't even, like, I don't know, pay him money or something. He, he just left him. So I kind of sympathize there. I do disagree with him beating him to death. But yet again, as I said, this is like, it's their issue. You know what I mean? I got nothing to do with it. And if there's a solution I can find that means I don't have to kill him, I'm like... I don't need to kill him, you know what I mean? Clearly he's gone through a lot, and it's like, he did kill people, but that sort of happens a lot, and it's... Do you know what I mean? It's ultimately, it's like, maybe I should have killed him, like, and just got it, to the, got it to the orphanage, but what I'm thinking is Geralt couldn't have possibly known that would be the outcome, you know what I mean? He would have just been killing him based on the fact that he... He basically, he did lie to us and all the rest, but is that a reason just to kill him? Obviously, he wanted his inheritance back, and wouldn't you be willing to do anything to sort of have a similar thing you know you he would sort of expect someone to understand maybe and um ultimately we do get to sort of half fulfill the wish all gear doesn't get entirely what he wants which i think is kind of a good outcome because all geared um he gets what he wants he, we're gonna go on to him basically we're half we're sort of giving him half and half you know what i mean we're giving him the house but he's not getting what he wants really but he's getting part of it um, kind of interesting. I like it, and it sort of shows all good. You know, you, you don't get everything you want, sort of thing. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's it's interesting. Already, all all good. Obviously, yeah, knows that, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing ultimately. And you all, I don't think he had necessarily anything to do with all good losing everything. I think that was more horse. So I'm sure he wouldn't be too bothered. Um, but anyway, let's uh, continue. Amazing. I'm kind of happy with the outcome, and I didn't have to kill you all and the dwarf, which is nice. I, I don't really mind so much about you all, but the dwarf, I, I don't know. So, you know, ultimately, you might disagree with me there, but I I'm kind of fine with it. And uh, I think I think that's what I'm happy with, you know? You all didn't really do anything. He agreed to give me the, the house, what the house was contained in, I guess, which is fine. We got out of here, all of us alive. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. I didn't agree with him beating his brother to death, but yet again, that's their thing. I don't really have a say, necessarily. Um, I, f I feel. It's like the gay, uh, or the, what is it? Is it Gaetan? It's a different name. It's like Ge Gaetan or something. However you say his name. Um, it's like that situation, I feel. But anyway, continuing. P Geralt, come on. Come on now. Right. Hi, Geralt. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, play her moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. Amazing. Well, you know, I'm relatively happy with the way that quest turned out. Um, you know, all things considered. Um, I didn't necessarily want to, uh, you know... Can I loot this without the guards attacking me? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be quick. I'm just gonna quickly. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, like all in all, but I'm like, you know, ultimately I'm kind of happy I didn't kill you all. I, I wouldn't have ever sided with Horst. I, d I just don't see the point. Like, sure, he could have given me what I needed for the quest, but there's more to it than just the quest, isn't it? It's, it's all about like how you do things. I think I can go back into the vault, right? Because there was some stuff here that I missed, and I, I, I don't know why I missed it. I'm just checking I got everything, guys. I will just want to discuss that outcome a bit more. Um, I mean, I, th I, I don't know. I've pretty much gone over all my reasons. You might disagree with me. You might say I should have killed them both and got it to the orphanage and stuff, and that's the greater good, ultimately. But I'm like, look, 
Geralt couldn't have possibly known that. All he knows is there's a will. It assumedly goes for his brother, all the rest. That's that's all Geralt would have known. I don't feel like he could have... Oh, it's closed. Okay. I don't think he feel like he could have uh, preempted... Um, uh, whatever that thing was. But I got everything out of the uh, auction house bit there. If I didn't, I could always uh, potentially go back. Because I'm going to stop the part here and I could always just reload if necessary. So, should leave a comment on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end today's part. I'm going to um, I'm gonna head up. Then we're going to end today's part. It's going to be cool. Before I end, I think I'm going to check if the new moon armor is actually better than the Mastercrafted Wolf School. I'm going to assume no, but it might be. And the other mu new moon armor I have might actually be uh, better anyway. No, it's not quite as good. So I'm actually going to unequip that just for now. Um, the Ophiri crossbow is better? No, okay. But I'll keep that anyway. God, I got a lot of just random stuff in my inventory. Uh, where are my professor's glasses out of interest? Where have they gone? Ah, there they are. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone part there. I guess I'll turn in this quest next time. I think it'd be quite fun to turn that in and lead directly into the next one, you know, get that little intro and stuff. But I think that's a pretty good place to end it. Creepy music. Just finished the heist. Geralt stood here looking cool. Um, pretty happy with that. I think everything went well all in all. You know, everything's considered. Every Everything being considered. Um, I'm kind of happy with the outcome I got. Happy I didn't end up having to kill anyone that was, like, part of my whole build-up there. Um, wonder what happens with everything to do with the auction house. Uh, now I've let Ewald have it, I suppose. Or Ewald. I'm, I'm not sure if I should let him live, but ultimately I'm like, there wasn't that much reason to kill him. I even had the option to not do it, so I'm like, look, I, if he's willing to just give me the thing, it's fine. But I guess we'll finish off this quest next time, turn it into Olgird, get the next one, do that. Then I think there's like... Uh, one little one, then the end one, and then that's it. So I'll probably finish the part next time. I got nothing else. I did all the markers as we can um, we can have a quick look at again just before we fully finish right here. Oh, all done. If I miss one, someone please tell me. Um, what I might actually do, you know, I took it off, but I'm going to put it back on. I feel like for the end of today's part, I want to look like I've just finished my heist. There you go. Yeah, um, be sure to like the episode today to let me know you enjoy them and you want more. I do appreciate it. Obviously, it helps out a lot and it sort of lets me know you want it. I do appreciate that. Thanks to everyone that subscribed and all the rest, all that sort of stuff. Check me out on uh, check me out <laughs> check me out on uh, Twitter, Twitch, all that sort of stuff. I do appreciate that. Checking out that really does support me and it, it helps me um, so I continue what I'm doing and stuff and feel like I'm I don't know doing stuff. You know, it's all fun, so I appreciate that. Um, also, of course, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. Really. Do appreciate it you guys are i just you know just thank you so much you guys know i do really appreciate it thanks if anyone does any of this stuff comment if i missed anything and you think i need to do something whatever else i always appreciate that and yeah um that's it for today's witcher 3 part guys hope you've all well which three hearts of stone part or witcher 3 whatever whatever you know what i mean but anyway that's it for today's witcher 3 part guys and i will see you in the next video have an awesome rest of the week